You want to be a star, don't you? And take it off! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. What it is, guys! Shibu Blast from Miss HD, and I'm fresh off of watching the scary and actually quite mortifying TikTok compilation you guys sent me over, and it scared the crap out of me so bad that now I've got to watch the Family Guy compilation someone else sent me in order to get my brain off of the horror that I just witnessed. Thanks a lot, subscribers. You're killing me softly. <sighs> what the f was that? Okay, I really need to see this because now I'm seeing shit. Uh, let's do this before, uh, <laughs> oh boy. Nancy, give me a beer. Uh, Mormons aren't allowed to drink alcohol. Peter, did you just throw those women away? No, maybe. My therapist thinks he's figured out what my problem is. Oh, yeah? What does Sigmund Freud think it is? He, uh, thinks I'm in love. Oh, my God! You can talk! Never mind. Finally, I'm one of those guys who can't wait to get to work in the morning. Like a dairy cow. Oh! 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 Yes! I feel like I'm dreaming. Wait, maybe I am dreaming. That means I can do whatever I want without consequences. What are you doing? I just adopted 30 puppies. <laughs> well, look, Brian, as your friend, I, I should tell you that that vagina is ground zero, man. I mean, I, I just, I wrecked that thing on the way out. And, and just to be a jerk, I carved Brooks was here in the wall. Did, did you see that? Did you see Brooks was here? We didn't have sex. Of course, what with Chris going before me, I pretty much just walked out of there. Didn't even have to stoop over. There was even room to twirl a cane as I strolled. You're exaggerating. Only a little bit. That's the messed up thing. I walked into the kitchen and sat down at the table. I looked with a grimace at the questionable meal Lois had placed in front of me. Of course, I'd never tell her how disgusted I was with her cooking, but somehow I think she knew. Lois had always been full of energy and life, but lately I had begun to grow more aware of her aging. The bright, exuberant eyes that I had fallen in love with were now beginning to grow dull and listless with the long fatigue of a weary life. Oh. I, I awoke several hours later in a daze. Sick! Yeah! Undefeated! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here, here comes another one. Quick, give me your lighter. I don't want to bring a new baby into the world with him running around. Okay, first of all, Bonnie, you've been pregnant for like six years, all right? Either have the baby or don't. The pathway to enlightenment starts with an unfettered, focused mind. Look out! Ah! What are you doing? Oh. oh, I thought that dot on your head was from a sniper rifle. Peter! This spot is a sacred adornment. It's a portal, an opening through which all light, goodness, rejuvenation, joy, and ecstasy may enter the human form. A vagina? Get out. That one almost made me laugh. A dog says... <coughs> a cow says... <coughs> ah, of course, of course. Over millions of years, evolution took its course. Of course, I'm obligated by the state of Kansas to present the church's alternative to the theory of evolution. Respect women when I'm on a date. I take them to the park, or maybe a museum, and I only try to kiss them if they're ready. Woohoo! What? 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 Say what? What? Help out your mom and dad by getting a job so you can help pay for school supplies. Woohoo! Say ho! Wipe your shoes on the mat when you come in the house. Someone just clean that floor. Woohoo! Say what? What? Ha <laughs> ha! Hey! Hey, let her go. <laughs> or what? Or, or, I don't know, man, but you're. 
You're lucky you're not doing that over here in the ocean, or else, or, or I would stop you. For God's sakes, help! Do something! Ah, if you don't like starfish, you're gonna be mad about what I just did. Oh, God, help! Ah, you're in for it now, buddy. I got like five fish coming to help. Oh, oh, here they are. Help! He's hurting me! Well, maybe you shouldn't have let him on. New York has some of the best restaurants in the world. They even have Indian food here. Not the local kind, but the mm-mm kind. I'm back from space, everybody. You got lucky, Peter. How was it, Dad? Oh, mind-boggling, Chris. Barreling around the Earth at five miles per second, watching the sun rise over the Sea of Japan, it's indescribable. Plus, I had lots of time to masturbate, which in space is great, except after a while, it's like living in a snow globe. It sort of turns out that I'm technically mentally retarded. And, um, you know, I just wanted to ask, you know, how, how do you deal with it? Deal with what? You, you know, with, with being retarded. Peter, I'm not retarded. I'm handicapped. Oh, well, now you're just splitting hairs. Hey, Peter, what's up? Oh, hey, Quagmire. Just taking the family on vacation. Oh, that's good. Oh, hang on a second. I'm stuck behind some fat ass driving too slow. Come on, stupid, move it! Now, hang on, Quagmire. Some jerk behind me is honking his horn. Oh, you should totally flip him off. Oh, hang on a sec. Some fat ass just flipped me off. Hey, up yours, you jerk! Hang on, Quagmire. I gotta kick this guy's ass. Yeah, I gotta kick this guy's ass. Hey, I'll call you back after the fight. Yeah, me too. Good luck in yours. Good luck in yours. This has got to be some kind of prank. You know, like that prank I pulled on Ashton Kutcher. Ashton, come here. Eh, you've just been tomahawked. This must be the McBurger Town Slaughterhouse. Sir, you are correct. But in here we call it Dachau. Dachau? Dachau. Except we spell the cow part C-O-W, like cow. So it's kind of, uh... Uh, sort of a dark joke. Yeah, yeah, it's a Holocaust joke. That's that's really funny. So where were we? Right about here. Ah, oh, come on, baby. It's my birthday. No. <laughs> Sorry, retarded. Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> Don't know any better. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> Jeez, didn't you hear me a second ago? I'm retarded. Oh, you're just curious. Well, let me show you how everything works down there. Is it bad that I closed my mind so that I could imagine the scenario more clearly? Just, oh, where you're just curious. I'm going to just show you the inside of my vagina. Like, it's cool. If I tell people I'm handicapped, can I get that too? Stop. Not so fast, y'all. You think you can just up and run away? You crazy. I like to eat people from other planets. Especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. So far, the only station that comes in is some British guys reading news from places I'm not sure exist. Today, in Kazakhstan, a peaceful demonstration turned to bloodshed as members of the Tuzili tribe flooded Kenpao Square in remembrance of the third anniversary of the Holmesburg Massacre. But finally, some good news out of neighboring Kanduzi as locals there have reached an uneasy alliance with the bordering Trolika Bubsy Wubsy doll. Hey, Jesus, can you do something for me? Sure, Peter. What is it? <laughs> and now with sports, here's Frampel Tromwibbler. From the world of sport, the Coynton Spinky Wompers flumped the flowing, boing Welfenklompers 70 to 40 flabe. At the tone, the time will be 26 Railroad. I'm not sure about any of that. You know, Dad, I saw that movie White Noise, and they said you can use empty radio static to talk to dead people. You idiot, ghosts don't exist. Wait a second, they might. Let's get you home. Wow, strange lady, you're so sexy. I should marry you tomorrow instead of that pain in the ass, Lois. Peter, it's me. You know what? Screw it. I am so gonna cheat on Lois right now. I don't care if she finds you out. Peter! You got a condom? Yeah, never mind. I got this Milky Way wrapper. It's so sucky and squeezy! I'll handle this. I've tangled with the likes of these before. Wow, that was awesome, Mr. Seamus. Ah, it was nothing. That's how I caught old Woody over there. Ah, uh, now see, that's an even more beautiful sight than 72 virgins waiting in heaven for a suicide bomber. No. Here I am! We're playing Magic the Gathering. Want to join? Osama! Don't go breaking my head! I couldn't if I tried. Oh, honey, if I get restless. Baby, you're not that. 
Yep. Uh, nothing. Yep. Oh, Stacy, you dropped your pom pom in the water. I'll get it for you. I'll come with you. Me too. But wait a minute. We don't want to get our sweaters all wet. Better take them off. Splash fight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Meg, I'll pay you a dollar a day to smell my sneakers. <laughs> I know people like this. I know people that do this. Uh, I peed and pooped. Griffin, I never noticed you before. I like what I see. Uh, okay. Oh, no. I dropped my pencil. Oh, I'll get it for you. Yeah, this is going to work out just fine. Excuse me. Bless us, O oh Lord, for these gifts we are about to receive. Help us to be mindful of all our blessings and... I hope I'm allowed to do this. My mommy says don't run with scissors. <laughs> She's so cute. I love children. Look at my kids. So everyone feel free to browse and purchase from our fine selection. Hey, Mom, now would be a good time to raise my allowance. <laughs> My back is hurting from the chair I'm sitting on. Where's the Tylenol? If I lay down flat on the floor, it usually kind of fixes it. Tony Danza from Who's the Boss says, a o a o o a o a o You know, I never told you guys this, but my police captain is a woman. One day she wheeled me into her office and then made me have sex with her. It was awful. Oh my God, that must have scarred you for life. No, I was into it. It was just awful sex. It was like trying to get a deflated balloon into a, the, well, I guess a normal vagina. It was pretty bad. I just kind of feel like kicking it tonight. Nope, look at that. I'm growing all the time. Hey, uh, Jillian, can you give me a minute? You ever just let your balls hang out, b right? You ever do that, b roni I have. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was bright. Give me my hair back. Ow! Oh, I wish that scary-looking clown at the end of my bed would go away. Wow. So, how do you do it? Oh, you're very nice to ask. Well, first I hang the old worm out there. They, they usually go for it. So I jerk them around a little, they fight for a while, and, and then they just lay back and accept it. Pardon me, sir. We're trying to locate a possessed child. Have you seen anyone who looks like this? Yeah, that's my son. He's actually in the Minimont right now. He'll be out in a second. Uh, I, I mean, I mean, no. No. Never seen him before. Hmm. What was that first thing you said? Oh, I was just saying that baby in the picture is my son. He's traveling with us. He's part of our family. We're trying to avoid being found by police like you. Uh, uh, I mean, I was just remarking what a nice tie you have on. I love this tie. All right, you folks take care now. Well, we should probably get home. This area gets really dangerous at night. I used to lure wayward sailors to their deaths with my siren song. <laughs> Peter, are you gay? Guilty! If you refuse to go peaceably, I'm afraid we'll have to use our superior linguistic skills to convince you to leave. Oh, yeah, just try it. Bye, Bye. Now. Sorry to bother you. God, I, I never saw it that way before. You know, they say Chuck Norris is so tough, there's no chin under his beard. There is only another fist. That's ridiculous. Chuck Norris? You are getting a little old to have a teddy bear. Brian, I'm one. Still? What? Um, Peter, you want to go see Disney on ice? Yes! I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put on my Donald Duck costume. Ready! 
If you squeeze me, I make bad people go away. But wait a minute. I thought guns were bad. False. Guns are good. In fact, did you know that Jesus and Moses used guns to conquer the Romans? Oh, no, I dropped my glasses. Uh, by the way, uh, Pinocchio, uh, there was a cookie missing from the jar. Did you, uh, did you take it by any chance? Yes, Papa Gibetto. I'm sorry. Are you sure you took it? Because, uh, I'd believe you if you said you didn't. No, I took it, Papa. I wouldn't lie to you. You could try. Who knows, you might get away with it. Take to the highway, won't you lend me your name? Who you sings that song? James Taylor. Yeah, let's keep it that way. Yeah, Women thank cry. you. What a royal pain thank in the you. ass. It's like, it's like, why can't you just hang out with guys, you no. know? Just no. live with someone of your own sex. Just do what you would do with women, but with your buddy, you know? No. Why, why don't guys just do that? They do. It's called being gay. Oh, that's what gay is? Oh, yeah, I could totally get into that. Ever read the Bible? Leviticus 18.22. Stewie, you're judgmentally quoting Bible verses, and you don't even know how to read. Welcome to America, Brian. I have 125. Do I hear 130? 130,000 for this authentic Comanche headdress. I got 130. I got 130. Do I hear 135? 140? Do I hear 140? B. 135 going once. Ooh, Hustler magazine. I finally get to see what a vagina looks. Ah, ah, oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Chris, you're the man of the house now. Take the lessons I've taught you and be the best leader of this household you can. No. I will, Dad! No. Oh! Oh! oh. Thank God! Fellas, I sure do love being gay. Harry's choice of lifestyle is wrong, so we're gonna beat him up for it. Now, take these baseball bats and get to it. <gasps> oh. All right, good so far. No, 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 don't use the bats like that. No, no, don't use them like that either. All right, look, just put them down and use your fists. No, 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 not like that. I haven't been this disappointed since I lost my virginity. Uh-oh. You want to get some breakfast or something? In sadder news, the man who held the Guinness World Record for most drugs ever done by a single human being died today. He was attacked by a pack of wild dogs he thought he saw. I mean, what kind of lazy, narcissistic, irresponsible moron would even consider doing something as unbelievably foolish as getting liposuction? Who, I ask you? Who? Hello? That'll be five dollars. Sorry, lost my wallet. But I already cut your hair. Ah, oh, well, guess there's nothing you can do about it now. That son of a bitch. Do I... do, do I have to? You want to be a star, don't you? Then take it off! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Sounds like a job for the A-team. <laughs> Hi, Dad! Go to your room. Okay! I'll distract Lois while you steal money from her purse. Lois, look at me! Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> Caca! I've got her wallet! Caca! Daddy, what are you doing? Look at the unicycle! <laughs> this nigga said Caca! <laughs> I've got her wanted. Caca! <laughs> Homie's been watching way too many hood movies, bro. Look here, Carter Smith. No one cacaws anymore. It's all about purring now. I got her wallet. Purr! Well, she's got ten dollars in here, and it cost me nine hundred dollars for the six weeks of unicycle lessons. So we're a little in the red right now. I was wondering if I could put a little saddle on your back and ride you like a horsey. Oh, okay, okay. No, I no, I, I understand. It's too much. It's okay. No, I like Hillary Clinton. I don't care what anyone says. Ah, Peter, what is it? Yeah, ah, yeah. Uh, uh, come uh, on, old Bones paint. in your ass. Come on. Ow. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That is some tasty stuff. That's from the uh, bake sale that Lois would. Yeah. Ooh, one down. I know somebody who won't be having any. Welcome. We open today's bidding with this pair of panties confiscated from a prostitute. Fifty bucks. She had nine STDs. Forty-five bucks. And when we caught her, she wet herself. Fifty bucks. Oh, gosh, 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 it's a brand new paper boy. 
That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. Oh, we got a fighter. Please rise. Now sit on it. The Fonz be with you. And also with you. Let us A. A. You're Mel Gibson? Yes, I've put on a few pounds for my next role. I play Peter Griffin, a heroic warrior who defied the English to free England from the English. Holy mackerel! Let me show you to your room, Mr. Gibson. Peter, watch the road. Lois, get off my back, will you? I'm trying to watch TV. I swear to God, sometimes I think your head's screwed on backwards. I mean, do you have any idea? <gasps> <laughs> Yep, that's hey, what Crashy. What are you doing down there? I don't trust you. You put your seed in my daughter's belly. You're fired. But, Pa, you can't fire me. You're lucky you're my brother, too, or I'd kill you. Fifteen years ago, I swallowed everything I needed to escape from a hostage situation. A wall! Yep. Yep, that's what they like. That's what works. That's what they like. That's how they like it. There she is. Yep. There she goes. Yep. Pray to the Lord. I have kids. I'm starting to feel funny. Pray to the well, Lord. I feel fine. I guess I'm gonna be money. That's the way it works. Oh boy! That means I win! I get to eat <gasps> Chris Tucker and Jim K Kaviesel? Is that it? The guy from the first one? Passion of the Christ to crucify this. You know how to use one of these? You know how to use one of these? This July, let he who is without sin kick the first ass. Here comes the next float honoring uninjured veterans. Yeah! We rock! Our wives stayed with us! Big fast! We did! Yeah! Peter, did you paste a new picture of yourself on our wedding portrait? Yeah, I think it looks better. You pasted it over me. Yeah, I think it looks better. You know what really grinds my gears? This Lindsay Lohan. Eh? Lindsay Lohan with all those little outfits. Jumping around there on stage, half naked with, with your little outfits. You know? You're, uh, you're up there jumping around, and I'm just sitting here with my beer. So, you know, what am I supposed to do? Meg, stop staring at Mr. Griffin. I'm sorry, Peter. I'm afraid she's got a father's libido. What can I say? I'm a vegetarian. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all gone. I think it's... <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> Peter, Peter, I need you to hold my ears. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm just going to put on a pair of gloves and we'll deliver this baby. Well, these don't feel like gloves at all. They feel like used needles. Oh, no. But this is where I always keep the gloves. Well, maybe if I dig deeper. Nope, just feels like more needles. Well, that's the craziest thing. Oh, now I'm sure this isn't the glove drawer. Oh. Hey, Rick, it's your cousin Marvin. Marvin Astley. You know that mediocre, generic sound you've been looking for? Well, listen to this. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Hola. Uh, me, me amo es Brian. Uh, 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 let's see. Uh, nosotros queremos ir con ustedes. Yeah, that was pretty good. But actually, when you said me amo es Brian, you don't need the ace. Just me amo Brian. Oh, you speak English. No, just that first speech and this one explaining it. You, you're kidding, right? Que? 9-11 changed everything. Peter, you didn't even know what 9-11 was until 2004. That's not true, Brian. I remember 9-11. <laughs> Must have been a woman pilot, eh? Oh, that was great. Thanks. I know you have a choice in airport sex, and I appreciate your choosing Quagmire. Please exercise caution when standing up, as the contents of your vagina may have shifted during coitus. You finding everything okay? Yes, thank you. Well, you just let me know if you need any... How do these jeans look? <laughs> Mr. President, did you reach a missile pact? Well, you could say that. There was a missile. And something definitely got packed. <laughs> what the? Did you discuss ICBMs? Well, I did see a BM. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you consider this a successful summit? Oh, yes. I summited three times. 
Are you finished with the butt fucking puns? When you say USA, I just say hooray. And if you're not from here, God's gonna hunt you down and give you AIDS. USA! My daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. Oh! Oh! It's been 24 hours. Got my money? Oh, I, you know what? Just give me till next Friday. I'll have it for you. Oh. Oh, that's funny. I could have sworn I said have it today. Yeah, I don't have it. Sorry. Oh, well, all right then. Mmm, that's good, OJ. <laughs> ah! Ah! Channel 5 News has discovered that there is an atheist among us. Local churchgoer and junior Christian soldier Meg Griffin has identified the atheist as Brian Griffin of Spooner Street. Here's the reaction from City Hall. Uh, shocking, to say the least. I'd rather have a terrorist living in our midst. At least they believe in a god. Even if it's a smelly brown god. I'm not really a man. I'm a woman. Oh my god, you're a woman? Well, actually, I'm not really a woman. I'm a horse. Oh my god, you're a horse? Actually, I'm not really a horse. I'm a broom. Say, which gate is flight 209? 209? That flight left half an hour ago. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! That plane's going down! My friends are on that plane! They're all gonna die! What? Oh, no! And that's not the worst part. Here's the condom I said I put on. <gasps> <laughs> Aren't I just the worst? Is there any way you guys could take Anna Lee? No, Quagmire. We got enough kids of our own. Plus old Brian over there. Right, buddy? I sharpened a pencil in my bum and now I need a band-aid. We have to destroy everything that's harmful to God. Well, I'm glad you married my daughter. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, actually, it wasn't me. It was... No, no it, it's okay. I'm used to it. You know, sometimes you just gotta make a decision and go with it. Like when I decided to try that radical penis enlargement. What? Hey, Ryan, your objections are duly noted. Now hit the gas. What? No! You know that would never work again in a million years. Don't need it to, Brian. I'm afraid your parrot is dead. No! Did he at least die with dignity? Well, he convulsed a lot and fell off the operating table. Then he flopped around a little on the floor, and then a passing nurse accidentally stepped on him and kicked him into a puddle of urine, which must have frightened him because his bowels released all over himself. I tried to pick him up, but then I got angry because some of it got on my thumb. So I threw him against the wall, and that's where he died. That's the way I want to go. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm no different than any other guy. Joe, would you put on your hand shoes and take out the garbage? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Put my gun down. Not until I have my husband back. Ah, my perfect ass! Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. I was aiming for your spine. Damn it! Joe, I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible shot. For God's sakes, just give me the gun! I'll do it myself! Why haven't you sent for help? But she said she never wants to see me again. Well, I'm sure you can come up with some excuse to see her at the vet. Is there any more coffee? Anna? I'm here with my dog. He's not feeling well. Fuck you. Hey, guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm going to put it right here, right on the refrigerator. That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. How much you pay for that fake mustache? Two ninety nine. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! Listen, you just gotta give me more time. Ah! Hey, looking for a good time, sweet cheeks? Oh my God. Peter, get in the car. Okay, but it'll cost you. What do you want, a Cleveland steamer? I said get in the car. What's a Cleveland steamer? It means that he'll. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Be cool. Be cool. Yeah, so go to Maple Street and then take a left and then uh, you go. Uh... Okay, so you want a party or what? Get in this car right now! <laughs> it's eerie, isn't it? 
like looking into the future. Brian, pick up. Over. What? Brian, please say over when you finish talking. Over. What? Over. Do you see the wire yet? Over. No. No what? Over. No, over. Okay, I'm gonna start feeding it through. Over. Wait, if you haven't started feeding it, why'd you ask me if I could see it? Didn't copy that. Over. I said, why'd you ask me if I could see it if you haven't started feeding it? Over. Oh, that's better. I can hear you now. Over. When did you guys get a pool? Oh, it's a moat. <laughs> I know it's silly, but my husband thinks our family needs extra protection now that we're, well, we're rich. Does it work? Well, it does keep the Black Knight at bay. What do you mean, Black? So anyway, here's Quagmire walking through the park, minding his own business. Uh, I just happen to be there with my video camera when a ninja shows up! And then a Nazi came! And then a evil pots and pans robot! Destroy! Destroy! Do you see it yet? Over. You know, you're a jackass. For the record, I don't want to hang out with you anymore when this is over. When this is what, Brian? Over. I said I don't want to hang out with you anymore when this is over. When this is what? You gotta finish your sentence. Over. That's it. My sentence is over. Your sentence is what, Brian? Over. My sentence is... Wait a minute. I have to say over even if the sentence ends with the word over? Ends with the word what, Brian? Over. Oh, I see the wire. You see the wire what? Over. Over! <laughs> oh, no! Quagmire's dead! Wait, we might still be able to save it. Oh, no! Dun, 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 we are so, so sorry for your loss. Still no sign of the deaf team, I notice. Hey, you guys are gonna be late. Maybe they're not in there. All right, boys, now watch how this is done. The key is to put it all in your groin and your back. Take your legs totally out of the equation. Lift with your lower back in a jerking, twisting motion. Wow, Lois Griffin. Hey, I love your act. Nice melons. Hey, listen, pal. Peter, I'm holding melons. Oh, and her hooters ain't bad either. Now, hang on a second there. Peter, I'm holding hooters. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Your wife's hot. All right, that's it. Oh, boy, I usually only get this excited when they say the title of a movie in the movie. I'm telling you, these drug dealers represent a clear and present danger to the United States. Eh, eh, he said it, he said it. All I'm saying is, what if this is as good as it gets? Yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. The only way for me to solve this crisis is to be Superman 4, the quest for peace. Oh, that's why they call it that. The Stop hell? making that fart sound every time someone says Meg. So, how was your day exploiting the town's resources, Meg? <laughs> Meg. Meg. <laughs> Meg, 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 Meg. <laughs> Can I get some covers over here? No, no. You fat keep you warm. No, no. Bro, I'd put her on the floor. That's what's up. You don't have to sleep on the floor then, baby girl. I ain't even mad. My God! <laughs> All right, let's go to the bank. You can't give up sex, you've got a responsibility. You see, Meg, you're what they call a practice girl. Excuse me, can you tell me where I can find assault rifles? Aisle six. How about a list of known local homosexuals? Aisle four. Come on, hop in my limo. Wow, a limo! Shotgun! Oh, crap, the LAPD. <laughs> Come on, Pete, I want to save some tape for the Hollywood sign. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot, you guys. Hey, our pleasure. Have a nice vacation, sir. <laughs> Save it! Ah! All right, hand me the razor. <laughs> oh, my God! Peter, you killed it! Well, you guys relax. He's got eight more lives. Okay, seven more lives. Six. Five. Four. Three. Peter, stop doing what you're doing. Look alive, ladies! Allow me to introduce the best of the best! The Black Knight himself! And this is his trophy winch, made Madeline.
Ding! Ah, my boy wants to know about sex. Came to the right place. Chris, what you always want to remember is that sex is perfectly natural. Well, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Swanson. Um, I wasn't really talking to you. Chris, I know a lot about sex. Yeah, and I'm sure you have fond memories, but I was kind of hoping to get some advice from someone who isn't broken from the waist down. I'm a father! You're a two-wheeled monster! <laughs> <laughs> Chris Griffin is actually really smart. Never ask for advice about sex from dudes who ain't getting a lot of it. Because most dudes' advice about sex is, oh, you gotta love her and buy her stuff and care about her and all that other weirdo shit. Hi, Dylan. All this stuff in here is mine now. Oh, well, okay, but be careful opening the closet because that's where the evil monkey lives. Yay! I haven't been in my closet for years! Boy, there is a lot of feces in here. Hey, Chris, guess what we just did, Bonnie? Tell him. We had sex. We had sex! We had what Joe calls sex. I'm abstinent, Lois. It's all in these pamphlets Meg brought home from school. Sex turns straight people gay and turns gays into Mexicans. Everyone goes down a notch. <laughs> They're gonna love that. Well, you think you'll look for another job, Meg? <laughs> Meg! 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 Uh-oh. It was my job to keep the children from eating each other. Hey! Hey! No! No, no, no! Spit him out! Jeffrey, spit him out now! And Mike, you spit out Timmy! How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Right on. Brian! Welcome home, you son of a bitch! So did you lose? Oh, you gotta tell me all about it. Hey, how was her bachelorette? Was she a dumb bimbo, like you said? But 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 with a big rack? Ha ha ha! Come on in and tell me everything. I bet your stories will make me laugh so hard I shoot milk out of my nose. Uh, Peter, this is Brooke, the bachelorette. She's, uh, having dinner with us tonight. I Dudes who can't get females always, for some reason, do this shit whenever... I show up with a female. I was dating this one model at one point, man. I go to a mansion party. Homie gonna come up. Oh, man. Where's that girl that you brought to the house like four days ago? This is not the same girl, right? This is a different girl. And I'm like, and you're not supposed to punch him in the face, by the way. The worst part is, homie has the nerve to apologize. Oh, my God. My bad. I'm so sorry, dude. In front of her. I'm like, I'd be, mm. I went over this with you a few minutes ago. <laughs> Vaginal intercourse is... It's just tops. It's the bee's knees, Meg. Oh, when you rattle it around just right. Oh, my God. I mean, you remember when we had that old car with the bad shocks and I used to take the old dirt road on purpose? Meg. Meg? I love you. My wife messed around with another chick. Thank you, God. Don't mention it, Peter. God. He knows what turns you on. Have fun. Oh, that's a bad mud puddle. I wouldn't want you to step in that and get your nice shoes all ruined. Joe's getting desperate, and we haven't raised nearly enough. I is there any way you could help us out? Of course I could. But it's funnier to me if I don't. In about an hour, I'm gonna piss away 20 grand. What, are you gonna bet on the Knicks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah! I mean, how often? Good one. I mean, oh, man, nobody thinks that's funny? Ooh, there's Joe. Say, Joe, I think you're cool. Joe, I think you're cool. Well, thank you, Brian. That's gonna get me through the rest of this yard work. No, just kidding. You suck. No, just kidding. You suck. Queer. Queer? Ah, well, there goes my smile. Oh, my God. He's violating Seabreeze. Oh, no, he's just awkwardly positioning himself. Now he's violating Seabreeze. Man, what do you think these things do? Huh, guess it doesn't do anything. Well, that seems odd. Ah! Oh my god, Peter! You're me! Holy crap! Ah, oh, sweet! <laughs> Look at all my dew! I'm covered in dew! Peter! You're covered in dew! Oh, you spoiled the surprise! I'm making you a cock out of dew! 
Doesn't matter how you find the pot of gold, be to the Ryan. All that matters is that you beat the leprechauns. That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't have to make sense when you look like this. Ugh! I am hotter than phone sex with a blind girl. You sound hot. What are you wearing? I don't know. What can you tell me about this one? Oh, that's just an old tank I use for those commercials where I declare war on high prices. Now, about that sedan. Yeah, 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 yeah. hang on there, Slick. Now I see your game. We come in here wanting a practical car, but then you dangle this tank in front of me and expect me to walk away. Now, I may be an idiot, but there is one thing I am not, sir, and that, sir, is an idiot. You know, Ireland has more drunks per capita than people. Oh, that's a negative stereotype. I don't think the Irish drink as much as people say they do. Over 200 reports of ear sex have been confirmed so far, prompting a new slogan. Once you go black, you go deaf. <clears throat> That's real. <clears throat> Bro, they sound constipated. have a baby someday oh Meg we've talked about this in order to make a baby a man has to be aroused enough to ejaculate sorry dad I forgot that's all right sweetie now you run along and play in the mud up huh? the toast is ready I'll get it Lois there you go uh Peter, maybe you shouldn't bring your lance to the table. Lois, if I'm going to get good enough to impress the Black Knight, my lance must be with me at all times. Oh, you guys are going to be so proud when you see me out on that field. Now, if you'll excuse me, i got to go practice. Ah! Oh, my God, stop my earring! Stop, stop! Ah! So, James, we just want you to do the voice. Henceforth, sexual intercourse is illegal. It is gross and disgusting and punishable by death. Origami keeps my hands busy and my mind off sex. There we go. I made a swan. Stewie's a good leader. I wonder how many of these swans I can fit in my bum. That's a beautiful shade of lipstick. I bet you enjoy the music of Men at Work. You're incredibly foxy. Take off your shirt, take off your pants. Wow, what a body. That feels good. I'll give you a call. You better get tested. It's just been revoked. Uh, Peter, he, he didn't really set you up for that lethal weapon line. It, it doesn't really work here. Oh. I'll have what she's having. That's... better? Peter, what the hell is that? Lois, I'm tired of Mort always mooching off us, so I made a scared you. Peter, we're not gonna have this in our front yard. It's racist, and for God's sake, you ruined your best suit. Now we're gonna have to get you a new one. Shh, shh, Lois, Lois, look. Hey, guys, I just wanted to return you. Oh! Oh, my God, it's Hitler! He's back! He's back! Hurry, protect John Stewart! He's our most important Jew! It just feels like I'm lying to Peter. Like Jesus lied to the meek. Yep. All right! Jesus and the jocks win again! Hey, you said we were gonna inherit the Earth. Yeah, when we're done with it. <laughs> I want to thank you all for coming out here today. We got a serious situation down in the Bronx. Our friend needs to get a message to the short man in the hat. He needs to deliver this message before the construction site contracts are handed down. It's of vital importance that these matters be attended to. So we may have to bring in our friend from Yonkers. What? I say we may have to bring in our friend from Yonkers! <laughs> what are you doing? What the, what the hell? What are you doing, Peter? What the hell is wrong with you? This is all I can do, Lois. I'm abstinent. That is it. I am going to have regular sex with you whether you like it or not. No! I wasn't asking your permission. No, 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 I'm abstinent! This is an affront to the Lord! No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I see what you're driving at. But why? Now, West, you have lymphoma. Oh, my. Probably from rolling around in that toxic waste. I see. What in God's name were you trying to prove? I was trying to gain superpowers. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of Quahog, Adam West. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's great being back in the North, where people are civilized. Hey, what are you guys all on a date? Gay! If nuke... Ah, ah, shit! Oh, didn't even make it to the fourth scene like I did last time. Hilariously depressing is what that is. Hilariously. Refuse gave them superpowers. It could do the same for me. Citizens, I'm off to the toxic waste dump. What? No! Really? In the West, you have lymphoma. Oh, my. Probably from rolling around in that toxic waste. I see. What in God's name were you trying to prove? I was trying to gain superpowers. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. Mayor West, what are you doing here? I'm being a rascal and ringing people's doorbells and running away. You... Then what are you still doing here? It's my first house. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> I'm a and I shall never forget. <laughs> oh, my. Right? Yo, that just goes to show you, Mayor West knows how to get the ladies, huh? Because we females love a guy who's corporate, but got some bad boy in him. He's a gentleman, but still a douchebag at the same time. And all of that culminates into shooting a random fisherman while you're on the first date with a woman who's got a husband. Officer Swanson, as thanks from a grateful city, please accept the certificate of merit. And with that, I hereby declare this hero cop open. Whoa, sweet bod. You lift, bro? No! This treasure hunt has turned them all into animals. Oh. There's more where that came from, mister. Oh, yeah. Oh. He was right. There was more. Oh. There you go. A Cornish game hen for you. A Cornish game hen for you. <laughs> Everybody gets a hen. Would you like some gravy? Motherfucker! Sure, you'd like some Do gravy. Like gravy. Oh, by the way, I should tell you, I've got AIDS. What? Ah! Yeah, they're right over there waiting for me. Yo, I swear to God, I'm gonna do that prank on the female. I just gotta make sure it's an ugly one. <laughs> I don't want to lose out on no attractive vagina. Ready to go when you are, sir. Yep. Poor guys, they both have AIDS. Oh, Rupert, you're such a sneak. I wonder what it is. Michael Jackson? Oh. A Joni Mitchell CD. Could you excuse me for just one moment? Who is Joni Mitchell? Who did he buy the necklace for? Oh. I'm gonna let that teddy bear go all the way. I've never seen that. I've never seen that part. Why are these new? Help! I'm lost in corn! I'll say a word, and you say whatever comes into your head. Okay. Mosquito. Bite. Hmm. Bite. Mosquito. Oh, yes, good one. Uh, mosquito. Bite. Mosquito. Bite. Mosquito. Bite. 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 Mosquito. Aha! Very good. You are a worthy opponent indeed. Congratulations, you're hired. Your first job is to go down to the corner and tell that hobo I admire his spirit. I'm too self-conscious to do it. Bad, 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 well, a bird is a word. Well, a bird, My bird, God, is it possible? Have the boys in the lab confirm this. Sir, our math shows that the bird is equal to or greater than the word. Check it again! Come on, come on. Hello, uh, is this the... Ah, ah, ah! Oh, sorry. I thought you were the district attorney. Ah! What? Let's go butts up and fast. Oh, no. Patch of sand. Oh, oh my God. Are you all right? I'm fine. Let's just keep riding bikes. Are you sure? That was a wicked wipeout. I'm fine. Can we just keep riding bikes, please? Two shakes, that's it. Move along. Oh, why thank you, Tinkle Fairy. I have to tell you something, Adam. You're an alien. I know. Today we commemorate those brave Quahog soldiers who perished in the recent Gulf conflict. I can think of no greater tribute to their memories than this solid gold statue. Of Diggum, the Sugar Smacks Frog. The spirit of America is epitomized by his inspiring motto, Smack, Smack, Sugar, Smack, Gimme a Smack and I'll Smack you Back. I'd also like to take this opportunity to announce extreme budget cutbacks having almost nothing to do with this solid gold statue. Nurse, this woman is in labor. Excuse me, I was here first. My leg is asleep. I love this job more than I love Taffy. 
And I'm a man who enjoys his taffy. Mm. Ooh. I stand behind my decision. This press conference is over. I can't see you now. I can't hear you now. You're not here now. La 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 la. I'm confident that the people of Quahog will make the right choice. And here to help me secure the Latino vote is actor Jimmy Smits. Adam West likes to eat food that's grilled in foil. That's our guy. Dad, what are you doing? All right, Meg, this is only going to hurt for about three weeks. What the hell? That there's my steer, Griffin. Mayor West, over here. What hotspot are you going to this Friday night? Oh, I've got some pretty nifty plans, my camera-wielding friend. Yeah? That's right. Every Friday night, I'm a clearance sale area rug. Boy, I hope somebody buys me. I'd look swell in their den. <laughs> uh. Mayor West, if re-elected, would you increase the frequency of garbage pickup? Well, citizen, that's an excellent question, and I thank you for it. I think it's great we live in a town where you can ask questions. Because without questions, we just have answers. And an answer without a question is a statement. Oh, I like him! Excuse me, that's my seat. We'll talk about this at home. Well, it's encouraging to know that I'm not the only Mayor West who's facing difficulties, but what I need now is a diversion. Let's see. Wait, what? Did I see one of these when it said scapegoat the blacks? <laughs> Whoa, what? Okay. Political diversions. Outlaw flag burning. That's possible. Use escape pod if you're in a spaceship. <laughs> Scapegoat the Jews. Eh, it's been done before. Commit suicide. That's uh, an escape plan that you can only use once. Scapegoat the blacks, just like the Mexicans. Scapegoat the French, just like the Mexicans. <laughs> Scapegoat the Jews again. Call them New Yorkers. That could work. Start a war. Eh, it's been done before. Jingle Keys. That's the one I like. I like that one because it works. Hmm, Jingle Keys. <laughs> My God, Mother I'm a tomato. Let's see, I guess 185 pounds. Wrong, I'm 95% helium. Hooray! I'm mayor again! Don't we need to have a whole new election? There. Now no one will have heard him say that. We all heard him say it. Anybody else hear anything? My wife did. So you say this gumball <laughs> machine took you a dime and didn't give you a gumball? That's right. Well, I'll take care of that. Hand over the dime, buddy. Come on, hand it over. Don't make this hard on yourself. Wait a minute. This gumball machine takes quarters, not dimes. Holy crap, it's a setup! Time to make a quick getaway. You were set up too, huh? Yeah. You realize that kid is plowing both our wives right now. Mayor West, here's the gay marriage ban for your approval. Excellent. This is so important, I'm going to sign it with all capital letters. It's going to say, Adam West! That's what it's gonna say, you'll see. Maybe you should look at the part of me where there's a baby coming out! Careful, don't get anything on the- Seats. What? Oh God, I think another one's coming! I don't see it! I think it's coming out of my mouth! There's more! And they're coming out of everywhere! Ah, kill me! This hurts too much! Holy shit, what is happening?! Mazel tov. I should warn you, I have a tiny bulletproof shield, the exact size of a bullet, somewhere on my body. And if you hit it, I'll be unharmed, and your plan will be foiled. You'll be the laughing stock of me. I don't want to shoot you, Mayor West. Good, because I'm incredibly crafty. Hey, what's that on the ceiling? Ha <laughs> ha! Now I'm over here. Damn it, Swanson, I want them found. Mayor West, we have every available man looking for the Griffins. We just don't have any leads. Not the Griffins, you moron! The rest of my light, bright pieces! My name isn't Adam Wee. Or is it? Who am I? What number did you dial? Don't ever call here again. 
I guess I told him, nobody messes with Adam Wee. It's all right to go to sleep, my friend. I'll stand guard. Uh, okay. Don't worry. I'll be here all night. Just don't try to make me smile. I'm forbidden to smile. Oh, no. <laughs> that episode of Growing Pains when Mike's friend Boner ran for student council. <laughs> Boner. His name was Boner. <laughs> <laughs> I've failed you. What? I bought this laptop here yesterday, but when I got home, I noticed the apple already had a bite taken out of it. You won't break me. Fifteen years ago, I swallowed everything I needed to escape from a hostage situation. A wall! I heard you gentlemen went to South Korea. Yeah. Well, that's cool. We went to Lake Havasu, you losers. We nabbed so much college beef. Stupid place still doesn't have my dry cleaning. That's not a dry cleaner. It's a dance club. It is. Well, that explains a lot. Oh, this is my jam! <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> seeing us on such short notice, Mayor <laughs> No problem, gentlemen. This thing like starts busting and opening and everything! Oh, shit! <laughs> I wish I could hear the things he was hearing, bro. I don't know if I want to, but I, I, I'd, I'd go for it. Gentlemen? Yeah? <laughs> Ugh, get a tan. Can I help you, gentlemen? Follow that truck! Didn't you hear me? I said follow that truck! Oh, I heard you. What I didn't hear was, please. Please, please follow the, the truck! truck. <laughs> I always enjoy traveling, companions. Let's play 20 questions. Am I Bobice? Yes, I am. Well played, worthy adversary. <laughs> Would anyone like to play Stratego? I have Stratego. Princess Leia, we've chosen to test our Death Star planet blower upper gun on your home planet of Alderaan. No! She said no. Should we still do it? Yeah. I'm sorry, but I can go no further. What? Why not? If I enter Connecticut, I'm entering every state that Connecticut's ever been with. Now teach me how to find love. All right, fine. But you lick yourself once in this class and you're out. Don't look, don't look. I spilled something. Boy, that looks enticing. Yeah, this is nice. Well, I better get a move on. All right, let's see what you guys have done to make yourselves look like douchebags. Mayor West, come up here. All right, good, good, looks good. All right, I'm a hot chick in a club. What do you say to me? You're not attractive, but I'll do you as a favor. Ha <laughs> ha, lucky for you! What can you tell us, Mr. Mayor? Please, Mr. Mayor is my father. Call me John Mayor. Your body is a wonderland, by the way. I couldn't save your seat. I know I'm late, I apologize. Hello, fellow moviegoer. Sorry, I couldn't get him to move. Where have you been? Oh, I just had it out with Peter. Would you like some corn? I brought it from home. Peter? You're not still friends with that idiot after what he did? Well, I mean, that may be a little harsh. I think I have my answer. You know what? I will have some of that. What the... what the hell is this? Cream corn. I brought it from home because I don't like the cream corn they have here. It's too crunchy. <laughs> Mayor West? Quiet, young man. Can't you see we're having a poker game? Now, I'll ask again. If I order a pizza, will anyone else have some? I might have a slice. Well, you know, I'm gonna need more of a commitment than that, Mark. Uh, pardon me? I just bought a Rottweiler, and I need a sign to warn people how dangerous it is. Well, we have exactly what- Ah, uh, yes, here it is, one way. So people will know if they step into my yard, there's only one way out. In a body bag. From dog injuries. Good day, ma'am. Well, I have to hide it in my chin. Uh-oh, here they come. You better get in there, too. 
Good God! Joan Wilder's sister is being held hostage in Cartagena, and there's not a policeman in sight. I guess it's up to me. Our top story, Mayor West has dispatched the entire Quahog police force to Cartagena, Colombia, to assist in the rescue of fictional 1984 movie character Elaine Wilder. Today we're here to honor Joe Swanson for pulling my poor one-eyed cat Bootsy out of the old stovepipe of my grandmother's cabin. Joe Swanson won the special People's Decathlon, and we're here to honor him. Yeah! My tulips! You dick. I've left the city in the capable hands of the Mayor Omatic 5000. Take a letter. Hold my calls. That's a matter for the Parks Department. All right, let's do it! Well, if you're gonna do it, you're gonna need someone who's very good at disguise. Who said that? I'd love to go with you, but I can't. I'm supposed to be the gift table at a bar mitzvah tomorrow. Pizza delivery man, prepare to meet your maker at the hands of my cat launcher. Oh! 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 That's so shitty! Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Damn, I lost him! All right, cats, back in the bag. Come on, Fluffy. Come on, Mittens. Come on, Paul. What a ridiculous name for a cat! Paul! That's a person's name! A person's name! <laughs> oh, Paul. Oh, no! The egg that I was supposed to take care of for my high school project! Mr. Burke was right. I'm not ready to be a parent. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not in high school anymore. Maybe this is all a dream. Ah! It was a dream! I need a glass of water. Wait a minute. I moved out of the desert years ago. Maybe this is a dream. Ah! I am ready to be a parent, Mr. Burke. What do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy for- Prostitutes. We gonna edit that out. Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. I'm not getting any reception. Me neither. No bars. It's all right. I'll put a message in a bottle. Now we wait. Oh, my God. Are you all right? I'm fine. Lucky for you, this tree was my destination. And the job exchange begins. Sir, do you want to move ahead on the agreement with the sanitation union? Sir, we need leadership. I guess I got distracted again thinking about Kent. Oh, I can't do this anymore. I've just got to ask him out. Sorry. <laughs> we could be a Geico commercial. You're absolutely right. You don't have ass or grass, so I'll be taking this dollar. No, 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 I don't want ass. Just give me the dollar. And now to turn slightly. <laughs> Heck, I did a fail. He took the Twitter name Mayor West, so now I have to use Mayor underscore West, that rat face cracker. Chapstick, with smooth lips, I will finally be able to be a mayor who kisses babies with confidence. Hey, crack lips! You'll see, you'll all see. We can use these boxes for good. And what the what hell? The That's for adding another tree to One Tree Hill. You are the turkey I have chosen to pardon. Fly free, turkey. <laughs> oh, fudge sickles. I brought marshmallow peeps. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need that Pyrex dish back. Okay. I'm gonna need it back now. Oh. I don't want anything else today to get as tense as that just got. Carol, it's so good to see you. You too, Lois. God, that is one nice ass. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys like to party? <gasps> no! Oh, no. Oh, my God, what a couple of squares. Squaresville, I tell ya! Okay, let's pick teams. I'll be a captain, and, uh, Mayor West, you can be a captain. All right, I pick you. You can't pick me. I'm a captain. No one had ever stood up to me like that before. I respected him from there on out. That's a great story, Grandpa. I didn't like it. None of my grandchildren had ever disliked one of my stories before. From then on, he was my favorite. Well, I don't like that story, Great-Grandpa. Future old people are wizards. 
So where are you really doing your business? Oh, I found a place. Well, I'll be damned. And they called me crazy. You can't plant sausage seeds, they said. Well, look at this! Are you a mayor? Yes, I am. Are you a cool mayor? I, uh, I like to think so. All right, back it up, guys. I know you have a foot fetish, so I got you the Statue of Liberty's foot. Oh, thanks, Peter, but Joan's all the foot I need now. What? But, Quagmire, that's the real foot from the Statue of Liberty. No, no, I'm, I'm okay. Hey, hey, do you have any idea what I went through to get this? A lot. A real lot. Oh, my God, you blew it up! You really did it! Damn you all to hell! Lois, I smell whipped cream. Are you making strawberry shortcake? Ah! 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 So it's a shouting match you want, eh? Well, game on, Quahog. Ah! 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 I'm beating you! Ooh, trick-or-treaters. Well, what do we have here? A cowboy and a princess? Uh... Yippee ki yay, Mr. Mayor. Oh, a Western princess. And, well, Prius Pumpkin from the county fair. That's why I'm naming you my chief of police. Mayor West, there's something you need to see. I trust you'll take care of things here in my absence. <laughs> Officer down! Hey, baby. Want some Adam West penis? Wonder what happens if I turn it on and point them at each other. <laughs> oh, my God! Did you also call into a talk show without turning down your radio first? Well, well, well. If it isn't Mayor Guns for Toys West. The chair recognizes your face! <gasps> On guard! <laughs> you call that kissing a baby? That's how you kiss a baby. Every year until his death from a combination of tuberculosis and a tomahawk to the head, he went to the shore on this day. Yo, you 5 -oh. No, I'm 87, but how flattering. Now give me drugs, scummy drug dealer. Ooh, I should text this to my best friend. Sick brooch! Adam, are you done with that mayor homework yet? It's called a bill, Mom. Eh? Huh? Who's with me? My apologies, my pet cricket has restless leg syndrome. This is how we did that. Bet you didn't know. Excuse me, Mayor West? How do you know my language? Listen to me. My entire future is in your hands. Are you Sarah Connor? No, I'm Meg Griffin. See, I need to interview you and... You're with the press? Yes. Well, you can't interview a dead man, can you? Dear Space, well, you're just full of surprises, aren't you? You think you're so good because you went to Choate. Well, you're not going to be so tough when I put a fishbowl on my head and a rocket pack on my back and come up there and punch you. Take that, Orion! That's right. All you are is a failed production company. Excuse me, are those Bugle Boy jeans? Good evening, Quahog. I'm here tonight with the deputy mayor. Hi, everybody. Shut up. I thought you and me could huck rotten apples at passing cars. Oh, I didn't know we had brown apple in the forecast. Well, we needed it. Channel 5 News has discovered that there is an atheist among us. Here's the reaction from City Hall. Uh, shocking, to say the least. I'd rather have a terrorist living in our midst. At least they believe in a god. Even if it's a smelly brown god. Mayor West! Mayor West! What do you know about the murder? Did you kill that man? Yes, I'll take a question from the reporter from the Quahog Elementary School Gazette. Timmy? Are you afraid of the dark? I thought we had an understanding that the dark was off limits. This press conference is over. We don't want you in our town, Simpson. We don't love you like we did in 1993. No! 
And as for you, OJ, we don't want you here either. You spent public money investigating this? Thanks. You know, I... I think I have my story. Your story? Wait a minute. You can't print that. It'll compromise my entire investigation. Well, thank God she's just a figment of my imagination. Although it seems pretty clear that my client committed this murder, I would consider it a personal favor to me if you found him not guilty. That's your closing argument? Whoa, those karate lessons are really paying off. Thank you, Sensei. Welcome. He came. Assembled congregants, no worries to you. And also to you. Let us tweet. And now, a reading from the book of Just Jared. Death be the ultimate fail. I'd like to present you with this key to the city. Now, don't forget to water the plants every other day and change the cat's litter. I'll see you in two weeks. No parties. Okay, now we'll just test those reflexes. Hey, did you hear that? There's someone out there. Hello? We're in here. There are six of us. Cinderella, I am your fairy godmother. Fairy in the magical sense, not about kissing guys. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to join these two in holy matrimony. If anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. Quiet down, you had your chance. I believe you are affecting your weird behaviors. You are doing deliberately odd things to mask dark, maybe even criminal activities. You are 100% aware of what you're doing. I think you're a dangerous sociopath. Cleveland, let me tell you something. You're absolutely fucking right. Well, time to put on my spaghetti hat. Where were we? If I do this, you promise to stop stealing my water? Uh, yeah, whatever. What? Too many pansy-ass parents sue the city when their kids sprain a finger or crush their skull on a bumper. I'm afraid sledding has been banned in Quahog. They banned sledding? Shit. Guess I just gotta go to Thailand like the original plan. Would you answer one question for me? Yes. Thank you so much. Dr. Brown, I just killed nine people! Ah, uh, I mean, I have ducks on my feet. Old crazy harmless mayor. Quack, quack! Last one down the hill! Oh my god! Call my mom. I crushed my skull on a bumper. Peter moves his lips while he's reading, because he's trying to eat the book. Roasted! All this singing is contagious. I'll sing, too. Adam West, Adam West. A little bit softer now. Adam West, Adam West. Adam West, Adam West. I'll come out when they're all gone. The Bible declares an eye for an eye. So let us now take our vengeance on this murderous ocean. <laughs> you won't be hurting anyone anymore. Do I hear an opening bid for this majestic fiberglass castle facade masking what was once a Midas muffler shop? Seven Two bucks. Bits. Two bits. That's 25 cents in the Old West. We have 25 cents. Do I hear higher than 25 cents? This paper bag, which could be full of money or my socks. You take the chance. We have an intriguing mystery bag. Do I hear more than the mystery bag? Two bits and a cardboard box, which may or may not contain a mystery bag. Whoa, 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 what the hell are you doing? Well, Mayor West is afraid of zombies, so the city says all caskets must be encased in concrete. You'll thank me when no one eats our brains. You'll thank me. Hold it, stop the funeral! Quagmire's not really dead! Ugh. Zombie! <laughs> all right, players, the answer once again is it was the first spacecraft to land on the surface of Mars. Adam, what was your response? Kebert Zella. What? Only saying his name backwards can send him back to the fifth dimension where he belongs. And now, I take my leave. This column is mine. I brought it from home. Oh my god! It's literally everyone! That can only mean show ghosts! Go 
look, look, I got me a wish. Ah. Ah. Good. We'll keep him till we get a new mayor. I want to be a mayor in real life. So I'm here to ask you to make me the mayor of your town. Vote for me, Adam West. <laughs> It'll be a home run. Oh. Oh, God. It'll be a home run. Dad, you're pretty. Like your girl. You look like a totally different person. Oh. oh, this is crazy. You walk in here with your chiseled jaw and you... Oh, my. I, I liked you the way you were. You're not even real anymore. You... Peter, did you get a new buttocks? I had to. My old one had a crack in it. <laughs> well, I couldn't be more angry with you. <laughs> I've noticed this exact same thing. You... You really let this family down. We should be embracing the things God gave us. Yep. Not telling our kids that a person's not as good as someone else because of the way they look. Oh, holy crap. Everybody, this is my wife, Loka. We're married. <laughs> well, maybe here, but not in America, where God pays attention. Could I oh. wham my Oingo Boingo into your velvet underground? You got a nice what? wiggle, baby. You want to be in a movie, huh? A little girl-girl action, maybe? Oh, Peter? <laughs> Good luck, buddy. I've been barking up that tree for 17 years. Ah, ah, Lois, look at you. Ah. You're like Britney Spears. Except you're not a fat guy. Oh! <laughs> oh what's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, God, I've been so bloody naughty. Oh, I need to be taught a lesson, and you're the one to do it. Ah! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Sometimes I think I should have married that woman I met the night of my bachelor party. Peter, I can't believe your friends just left you here. Let's get you home. Wow, strange lady, you're so sexy. I should marry you tomorrow instead of that pain in the ass Lois. Peter, it's me. You know what? Screw it. I am so gonna cheat on Lois right now. I don't care if she finds you out. Peter. You got a condom? Yeah, never mind. I got this Milky Way wrapper. You ever stop and think, wow, I'm married to that guy? Nah, I just repress it. Is that healthy? Ah, what's the worst that could happen? I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. Oh, 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 I'm a tumor. I need some excitement. What are you talking about? Your life is plenty exciting. For example. There, there, you, yep. go. there you go. Good night. Huh? Oh, we are in excitement, You're a sweet, man. lovely girl. He'll come around. <sighs> Such a mom answer. Well, have you tried showing off the goods? How's that for a mom answer? Creepy. And have a wonderful time. Is that it? Oh, no, no, it's a... And something, something, all day. Right? Oh, man, I've lost all faith in mankind. Music is dead to me now. Oh, you can have sex. Just no moaning, no tongue kissing, no thrusting, no movement whatsoever. Well, this isn't very romantic. I mean, how are we supposed to... I'm done. Night, Lois. <sighs> There it is, the black market. Lois, if we don't make it out of here alive, I, I should tell you, I, I, I promised my first girlfriend we'd meet up in heaven. I, I was lying, but, but just so you know, it's something we might have to deal with. Hey, Lois, I'm ready for your pie. And you made dessert, too. Oh! Oh, Glenn, I love all your sex jokes and your dirty puns. That's why I married you. Mm. Let's go upstairs and do it. Okay! Joe, you're too heavy! I can't hang on! Pretend I'm your child, Lois! Not Meg, not Meg! Don't worry, sweetheart. There's always next year. Congratulations on second place, Lois. Ah! There's nothing ah! that happens when you're asleep. In fact, sometimes good things can happen. Oh, Jenny. Jenny. Oh, yeah, Jenny, don't stop. Oh, Richard, Jenny, your HBO comedy specials have brought pleasure to millions. And what a sweet ass. Oh, God, you're dumb. Thank God for that ass. Now come here and kiss me. Good night, honey. Good night, Lois. Good night, Jim and Abby. Good night. Good night.
<laughs> Not now, Abby. Yep. Yeah. What does that say to me? Oh, go f yourself, Diane. She said the swear. I mean, look at us on a boat in the middle of the Atlantic, under the moonlight, surrounded by refugees. Yeah, uh, about that. Uh, you know, Miguel over there has had his eye on you, and his wife Rosa is very open. What? No, nothing. This is nice. Ain't a down. God, your hand is like ice. <laughs> Just here, give it to me. Oh, that'll warm it up a little. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Peter, wait. Yes, yeah, yeah! <sighs> oh, Peter. Ooh, Lewis. Someone's wearing their ovaries on the outside. She saw me walk into the swing. Yes, yes, she saw you. Easy now. Well, nobody walks all over me. Those days are over. Lois Griffin demands respect. <laughs> Ugh, I smell a messy diaper. God, why does that turn me on? So, uh, <laughs> any possibility of, uh, tonight being the night we finally push the beds together? <laughs> Good night, Brian. Come on. Jeez, enough with that already. You're like a dog with a bone. Tell me about it. I'll be in the basement. Doing what? What do you think? Try drastic measure. Brian, what hell? Hot lady next to wheel. Make me want wheel. Maybe if me buy wheel, me get pretty lady too. I buy wheel. Peter, you're going to Meg's play, and that's that. Is that that now, Mrs. That's That? If you're gonna shoot me, you might want to tie your shoelaces first. <laughs> oh! Now, are you gonna go to Meg's play or not? Yes! You like eating red carpet, tough guy? Yes! Say you like eating red carpet! I like eating red carpet! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter, you can't just suck 200 pounds of fat out of yourself. It, it's not natural. Come on, Lois, I feel great dropping that kind of weight all at once. You remember how good you felt after you had Chris? Good lord. Well, maybe if I'd seen you kiss your girlfriend. Fine. What was that? What, is she your grandmother? <laughs> That's no kiss. Watch this. Mm. 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 <laughs> ah! Okay, j just to be clear, we, we were talking about me being in love with you and, and you rejecting me, right? Yes. I'm just making sure. Well, say we were both drunk and, and we knew we wouldn't remember. Uh, I have to be really, really. No! Oh, that was fantastic. Hey, when'd you get that tattoo on your lower back? I don't know, Peter. Meth is a hell of a drug. What? I'm just what? glad to have you back on my side. Are you okay? No. I came in with my wife and now I can't find her. Oh, I'm sure she's here somewhere. Come on, I'll help you find her. Okay. Will Lois Griffin please come to the courtesy booth? We have a little gift for you. <laughs> uh, I'm Lois. Oh, for God's sakes, Peter. Yay, Lois! Thanks. Now we want Justin's candy. What? You heard me. Take Justin's bag of candy and pour it into Stewie's. All of it. And if I think you're holding back on me, we're going to have a serious problem. Wait, all right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, serious problem. Good. Now go in your purse, take out $40, and put it in the bag. All right, all right, Lois, you're kind of scaring me now. Uh, I don't have $40. All right, I understand. I'll be back tomorrow for the $80. And I'm taking your welcome, Matt. Boys, please, it's Christmas Eve. This is a night for magic and wonder and joy. Okay, so a couple of things have gone wrong, but we can still have a great Christmas. Ah, oh, jeez, kids. You know, I was this close to losing it, but your mom's right. Well, sure I am. Meg, honey, get me some paper towels. Let's lose the bad tidings, clean up this mess, and find that holiday cheer. Yeah, all right. Yeah. We're out of paper towels. No. Paper towels! Ah! Oh, my God. Come in. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Meg. So, Meg, your birthday's coming up, huh? You excited about turning... Huh? 
And don't forget, if you screw this up, Mommy's gonna kill all of your toys. Okay. Five foot one? Wow, Dr. Hartman, that's really short. I mean, I suppose it's fine if he's gonna die at 14. Splendid. That housefrau's cheap rayon blouses will make a serviceable parachute should I need to abandon my jet in mid-flight. Once it's built, of course. Rupert, did you call that engineer at Lockheed yet? Oh, of course you didn't, you worthless little... There, see what you made me do. You think I enjoy hitting you? Well, actually, I do. I enjoy it so much, I'm going to do it again. You ready, down there? Okay, Meg, if this works, then we might just have a chance of getting Stewie back. Are you ready? No, ready! Okay, here we go. Got it! Cool! Asball! Peter, it worked! We found the portal to the other side! Ah! Peter, what the hell are you doing up there? So what do you call this device, Paul? It's an iron lung. It keeps me from dying. I want to play baseball! And with me is one of Paul's classmates, Chris Griffin, who helped organize this charity event. You're a very thoughtful young man, Chris. Can, can I say hello to my mom? Sure. Hi, Mom! Hi, sweetheart. Hey, Peter, my thing went off. Your thermostat okay? Yeah, it's all right. Hey, is my kid over here? Forget it, false alarm. Whoa, ass ahoy. Hey, uh, Peter, it's 7 o'clock and you've still got your pants on. What's the occasion? He's going to a stag party. Now, Lois, I work hard all week to provide for this family. I am the man of the house, and as the man, I order you to give me permission to go to this party. Look, at least promise me you won't drink. Alcohol always leads to trouble. Uh, you're just mad about the car. Don't worry. I'll think of a way to fix it. No, we'll think of a way to fix it. I'm tired of being left out of all our decision-making. Okay, honey. <coughs> By the way, I bought a chimp. What does this scene have to do with Lois? Oh, my God, you were really gonna do it! I... but you... you... Nurse! This dog is trying to kill me! Nurse! You are twisted, lady! No, that's just a woman. <laughs> Asks you for something, and then when you give it to her, it gets madder than she's ever gotten mad in her life. Moral of the story, never give women what they say they want. You're better off doing the complete opposite. You, you hear me? You are screwed up in the head! Peter, everyone lies at those things. Just tell them you're a big shot. Wait a second, Joe. That's a great idea. Boy, imagine what it would be like to be a big shot. Diego! Sweaty. Uh... Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh. They absolutely love your book. The simplistic writing style is very graspable to them. Here's your award. I made it all by myself. Thanks. Hey, Brian, smell my finger. I, 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 I already can. For God's sakes, help! Do something! Ah, oh, if you don't like starfish, you're going to be mad about what I just did. Oh, God, help! Oh, you're in for it now, buddy. I got like five fish coming to help. Oh, oh, here they are. Help, he's hurting me. Well, maybe you shouldn't have let him on. Peter, it sounds to me like alcohol is a very destructive influence in your life. You need to relinquish your dependence and give yourself over to a higher power. <laughs> you have a different view, Brian? Oh, I, I don't know. Are we, are we allowed to have a different view? Brian, AA is the only way out for these people. Millions are saved every year by the program. Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. <gasps> You're a college dropout? Brian, the New Yorker does not employ your kind. You, sir, are fired. Damn! No dogs allowed. I prayed for you, Max Weinstein, and here you are. Okay. Listen, uh, thanks for letting me use the phone. Thanks for space balls. Yeah, well, if there's anything I can ever do for you... You can't leave! Hey! And that's why we're going to be handing out these opal rings. These rings are a symbol of your commitment to refrain from sex until you're married. So what do you say? Who wants to be joyful? Who wants to be pure? Who wants to be abstinent? Boo! Gay! Boo! <laughs>
Wow, time. that makes Ooh, so much sense. Gay. I know. He's a visionary, like Gandhi or Mozart or Picasso. She's Brian. I don't Boo, know how much longer you're all losers. Boo. It's been a whole week since I've seen a TV show. Boo, be pierced somewhere else. Well, Boo. Scooby and the gang are up to right now. We now return to the Scooby Doo murder files. Gee whiz, gang. Looks like the killer gutted the victim, strangled him with his own intestines, and then dumped the body in the river. Jinkies. What a mystery. <laughs> You're right, Scoob. We're dealing with one sick son of a bitch. Hey, buddy, I think that girl likes me. Of course she does. She's All right, that one made me laugh. One more, and I'm not going to throw you out. Because none of these scenes have had any Lois in it. Only like four of them. <laughs> uh, you know, this isn't going to be easy, you guys. We're going to have to reteach your father everything he's forgotten. Hey, have you heard this awesome new song? No! I will a bird, bird, bird. But birds are winner, well a bird, bird, bird. But birds are winner, well Peter, the toilet paper is made of money. Yeah, and look at this. They even got some of that high-class British porn. Almost. 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 There we are. Well done. The only thing remaining is the oral test, which I will administer here. Now, question number one. Who discovered America? Me. Dick York? No. Dick Sargent. It was Dick Sargent. Ah, question number two. Complete this sentence. The land of the free and the home of the blank. Mexicans. Home of the Whopper? You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Griffin, if you were truly an American, you would know our national anthem. Now, wait a minute. He is too an American. We've been married for almost 20 years. Stewie, can I take this goddamn headband off? No, LeVar, you're blind. That's the only way you can see. I'm just saying they have all the ingredients for a McDeal. <laughs> Just hang on, all right? There's a lot of us. There's a lot of... It's a big order. What time do they stop serving breakfast? It's three o'clock. Some of them serve breakfast all day. No, they serve breakfast all day! Do they have beer? Peter, Quagmire has a name for that cabin. He calls it his sex cabin. No, he doesn't. He calls it the stuff it in. Oh, my God, I can't believe you knew about this and you let her go. Hey, don't give me that crap. I'm doing exactly what you told me to do. You said don't mess with her business, so I didn't. Yep, there you go. Always follow your instincts, man. Never follow hers. Peter, this is different. It's one thing to rebelliously flaunt an older guy in front of your parents, but it's a whole other thing to go away with him for the weekend to a sex cabin. What the hell is this, Brian? It's my new passport. What, what are you doing going through my mail? You weren't planning on going somewhere with her $26, were you? Oh, for God's sake, I just had the damn thing renewed. What's the matter with you? Look here, you're obviously taking us for saps, but we're not. Now fess up or I'll do to you what I did to John Lennon. John, have you met Yoko? Yoko, John? You want your money? Fine. I hope you all kill each other. You! I am taking your brain. Oh my god, I don't know why this is activating my crippling aquaphobia. Oh my god, that's not okay. You are now my slave. No! He freaking out like that oh he's having a little hallucination from the fever just like when you were three and you accidentally ate those adult brownies i was saving for the doobie brothers concert peter good to see you come with me i've got a lot of tall statuesque people i want you to meet what's that oh that's my son chris he can't come in <laughs> he's fat well let me tell you something buddy if my son can't come in then i'll just come in see you at home but Dad, trust me, Chris, sometimes it's better not to fit in. You're all stupid. See, they're gonna be looking for army guys. Room service. I didn't order no room service. It's complimentary. We have a club sandwich, a fruit plate, and a side of hot beef steak. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <gasps> Glenn Quagmire, you get out of here. Come on, baby. Time for round two. Oh, 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 you're the devil. You ruined my marriage. Quagmire ruined her marriage, but if you go watch the episode, it was all but consensual. Takes two to tangle, baby. Two to tangle. What kind of birdhouse can you build with popsicles, roofies, and a mallet? It's for a rare African bird called None Your Business. Hi, Meg. Can I help you? Hands in the air, Goldman. Oh, my God. Oh. What are you doing? Give me your oh. money. Here, here. Just take this jar for the leukemia kids. I don't give it to them anyhow. Uh-huh. You're watching the show. The ducks are saying stuff. You're yucking it up. You're laughing. Your sides are hurting. All of a sudden, you realize you're feeling something, too. When did that happen? When did the handy quacks become people I care about? When did they become like welcome guests in your home whose weekly visits the whole family eagerly awaits? Take a look at what we got, Peter. Oh, gosh. 
Look who's stuck on the couch again. Not stuck on the couch. Okay, Mr. Cranky. One, two, three. There we go. You didn't need me. You did that yourself. Good for you. You need anything else? No. Fine. Thank you. Okay. You guys have fun. Uh, oh, damn it. I meant hold it, not cut it off. You weren't specific. I've never done this before. Are you okay, Brian? Yeah, I'm just so happy to meet you both. Uh, what the hell are you cauterizing your tail? Trust me, I'm a nurse. Uh, Brian? What's going on over there? I think they burned our dinner. Oh, God, it hurts. It hurts, Stewie. Ah! <gasps> and now I will take off this protective potato head mask. Oh, Peter, he look like you. I can't believe you're all still standing by my side after what a jerk I was. Especially to you. I'm sorry, Chris. That's okay, Dad. Well, Peter, I guess you learned a pretty valuable lesson. Nope. Mr. Griffin, this dog is a danger to society. I'll, I'll be it an articulate and charismatic one. But the law is the law, and it cannot be circumvented by pretty words. I'll give you each 20 bucks. Deal, he can go. Oh, all right, everybody, yeah. How we do? America! America! I have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, let me try. Cleveland, don't! Minority suspect. Yep. Minority suspect. Oh, yep. He's got a gun. Yep. Oh, ow, ow. Oh. Yep. I've had that happen to me. Hell, even Cleveland used to be an accomplished auctioneer. I have 125. Do I hear 130? 130,000 for this authentic Comanche headdress. I got 130. I got 130. Do I hear 135? 140? Do I hear 140? 135 going yep. once. And away we go. What? What? Really? Oh! No, 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 no! I can't feel my legs! Welcome to the party, pal. No, wait, there they are. Oh. Uh -huh. Ow! <laughs> oh my god. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh my god. Who's he backup dancing for Bobby Brown or Women? Uh all types, I guess. All types? Come on, Jesus. Even Martin Lawrence when he used to dress up like Shanene? Yes. <laughs> Shanene. Oh my god, this is a clip? I didn't know they did this no, clip. No, 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 no. Ah! He's R2? He's R2D2. That's so racist. What the hell is that? Oh! I do! Run, ho! I do! Are you okay? I think so. Boy, who knows what else is in this swamp? Oh my god! Carolyn? Cleveland? Oh, hey, Brian. Close that window. You're letting all the stank out. Uh, 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 if you all just uh, take your shoes off there, Joan and I kind of do the Japanese thing. Uh-oh. Foot odor. I have to go. I have a uh, terrible foot odor. No! No! What did you say to me? Peter, what are you doing? Get off my plane. That's not even the same. <laughs> What the hell? Not gonna talk to me like that in my bar. Not a fight bar. him. Oh! Fight him. Fight him back. Fight him back. Ah! 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 Oh, that's right. Cleveland moved. Why is Tub always do hey, that? Boy, don't you come walking by this house. Boy, You're ignorant. Now why don't you go hop on that gay bike of yours and go get yourself a lollipop or a cupcake or something? <laughs> <laughs> we good, Brian. We good. Oh, good morning, honey. That feels really good. That do what, what? Hey, hey, hey! What the hell? You're not the same giraffe from last night. Get out of here! <laughs> what the hell? No, 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 no! I gotta stop taking my baths during Peter's shenanigans. Yo! Uh, you know, I can just wash it off when I get home. Why? What's in there? Oh, mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. No! Oh, wait. 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 Ow! Oh! And boom goes the dynamite. 
I love you, Cleveland. No. Uh, I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure it's raining bitches. Light it, Brian. Peter, I don't want to do this. Do it, Brian. It's the only way I'm going to catch that bird. Meep, meep. There he comes. Light it! No, 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 no! Doggone it! That's it! No more! I'm tired of being kicked around by this world! I'm sorry, Cleveland. It's all right. I tried to stop him. I don't blame you, Brian. You're a dog! A dog! Oh, you gotta hear this new Eddie Murphy cassette I bought. Hey! Did you ever have a barbecue? Ha ha ha! What? Hey guys, what is going on? No way! Uh, that thing don't bite. The day. Bro, what's really funny is at the beginning of this clip, I was sitting here wondering, like, bro, what's this got to do with Cleveland? I should have known that somehow this would end up in him being naked, covered in water on his lawn. That's nasty. Oh, look, Cleveland finally made it. Oh, hey there, Griffins. <laughs> ah! Oh, that takes me back. back Peter, this it. doesn't seem safe. Yeah, I'm afraid I might. <laughs> no! Ooh. Wow. Thanks, Spider-Man. Everybody gets one. That's Tell what's them, up. Peter. Uh, apparently, everybody gets one. Bingo. Oh. Uh, why is she wearing a French maid's costume? Because I want to nail a dead French maid. Giggity, giggity. No, giggity. I've missed you. No, Glenn. giggity. Do you know how she died? Yep, it all started when Brian dug up a brontosaurus skull. All right, a little more, a little more. I'll have this sucker in the bedroom in no time. Oh, time for United States of Terra. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Wait, what's that? Oh, look at yeah. those boobs. You're a gooner! <laughs> I've never seen that clip before. I gotta see that again, bro. They gotta be to murder this bitch. She deserve it, though. States of Terror. No, 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 no! Oh, God. Wait, what's that? Oh, look at her gross boobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Cleveland. It's all right, Lois. He's in heaven now. I don't understand why I need to give you a credit card imprint. It's kind of a new policy. I didn't see you ask the guy in front of me. It's kind of brand new. Do you have a credit card? I got a Sears card. Ah, they're doing pretty well, huh? One by my house, got a McDonald's right in the store. Mr. Brown, can you please state your occupation for the court? Oh, come on, man. You didn't ask anyone else to do that. Why am I on trial? He's the one that mushed himself on a child. Ah! Hey, see this chick. Ah! Okay, no, no more help. I'm taking this Bible. He the one that mushed himself on a child? <laughs> ah! I'm going to start using that. Wait a minute. What's this? There appears to be an interracial couple making love on second base. The crowd's enjoying it, and it looks like the umpire's going to let him finish. Ah! And boom goes the dynamite. What the hell? Oh my god! We clearly overdressed. They have the type of fat white woman here that not even I am interested in. What the hell? Ow! Joke's on them. They got a black kidney. Hey, pimples, what's the skinny on those mega energy pills? They're like, you know, caffeine or something. Truckers take them so they can stay up all night. Truckers are so cool. Breaker, breaker, one nine. I got a smoky on my tail. Ten four. Hey, that's pretty good. I don't have time for your nonsense. Let me try one of those. Disappointed in you. 
you see Cup. Thanks for keeping it warm for me, Bill Boy. Mr. and Mrs. Cleveland Brown. Tell now, 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 now. Wow. What? The hell? No, 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 no. Hey, Peter, can you blow that towel rack down here? Thank you. For him to be able to take hits from the back that hard and it not phase him when it killed Loretta, strong anus. Not like that, though. Unless you want to subscribe to the Only Toes. It's one of those cards where you can record your own message. Come on, open it up. Hi, Peter. Happy birthday. Just wanted to send our wishes from Virginia. Bye. Okay, Donna, I'm done. I'm gonna go mail this card. Oh, shit. Afternoon, officer. Any idea how fast you're going? Uh, no, sir. You getting smart with me, boy? Where'd you get them wheels? Oh, come on, man. Step out of the car. But I ain't done nothing. Hands behind your back. Hey, easy, come on. watch it. Just don't you fight me, boy. Get that on the ground. Come on, now. Hey, get back here. Ah, my arm. Oh, this looks like a safe place to rest. I think you went this way. Peter, close the card. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. That's odd. What? Man, we got a large number of clovers on our lawn. No, 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 no! Oh, hey, Cleveland. Australia, here I come. I must say, I do feel a strange satisfaction watching the black ball topple all those self-righteous white pins. Can't blame them for being self-righteous. The black ball's in their neighborhood uninvited. The black ball's done nothing wrong. If the black ball's innocent, it has nothing to fear. Do you believe in your best judgment that you have been rehabilitated? Rehabilitated? It's just a stupid made-up word. So boys like you can sit behind a desk, wear a fancy suit, and feel important. You're a jerk, and I had sex with your mother last night, and I swear to God, you let me out of here, first thing I'm gonna do is kill again. Yep, that's what you gotta do. Man, with the sentimental bullshit. That is so racist to say that when black people get around nice places with expensive food, we start stealing food for ourselves to take home. Now don't get it twisted. That is true. At least for me, I'll steal. But you don't go telling people, you go too far. Tell on me, bitch. That nigga look old as shit for 21. Cleveland, these lobster traps aren't gonna catch any intruders. Yes, they will. I baited them with these plump and tasty Fenway Franks. Daddy, we got one! Daddy, we got one! Ha ha ha! Fat boy smelled a hot dog! Couldn't help it! We're right in! Ha 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 Hey, this kitty had just knocked the ball 300 yards. I'm Tiger Woods! I'm Tiger Woods! Wee! Jeez, Cleveland, your kids are natural. With a little help, he could be a pro. Oh, Peter, I can't make Cleveland Jr. sit still for anything. Sometimes I wonder if he's got the epilepsy. But then I just go see what's on the TV. Well, maybe you're not as good a father as me, eh? I mean, look what I did with Chris. Cleveland Jr.'s beyond your skills. He won't respond to you. Oh, yeah? Hey, hey, come here, Cleveland Jr. Come on, come to Peter. Over here, Junior. Come on, come, to come Daddy. on, Cleveland Junior. Come on, Cleveland come on, Junior. Come to Peter. Come on. Huh? Huh? Come on, you'll see. I'm gonna turn this kid into the greatest golfer ever. Fine. How'd you get him to come to you? With this. Oh. Love. Jealousy. Touch. Forever. Intense. Passion. Obsession. Calvin Klein. Motherfucker. I submitted togetherness. A simple theme, but powerful nonetheless. Hey, great shot, Cleveland Junior. Thanks, Mr. Drummond. Listen, for uh, for for today, can you can you switch and call me Mr. Papadopoulos? You got it. And would you would you hate me if I called you Webster? That's a lie. Okay, sorry. 
My dad always says, measure twice, cut once. My daddy always said, Cleveland Jr., quit jumping on the bed. <laughs> we didn't measure! We didn't measure! One more hole and that man oh. boy trophy is ours. Here you go, little buddy. Hey, look at me. I'm Pele. I'm Pele. Ha ha ha. Go! Ha ha ha. Where the hell's he going? <laughs> He's gone. Maybe you better stick to looking after your own son. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna be on a cereal box. Honeycomb big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not small. No, no, no. All right, now pay attention, Junior. And you want to keep your shoulders straight and your knees bent. And, uh, just, just once for, for me, would, would you call me Mr. Drummond? Bang! I'm Daniel Boone. I'm a man. I'm a big man. Bang, bang! Now I'm Pat Boone, gonna have a Christmas special with Andy Williams. Ha 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 ha! I'm Abe Lincoln. I just chopped some wood. Ha ha! ha. Good for you, son. Dad! Uh, Dad, look! That, that's great, Chris, but I'm trying to be a good father here. I'm real proud of you, champ. Let's go get a milkshake. You got it, Mr. Drummond. All right, Cleveland, let's get down to business. Who told you the joke? A bellhop at the Royale Hotel in Washington, D.C. I met him when I took Cleveland Jr. there to see the Lincoln Memorial. But then Daddy got frustrated because he couldn't find it, so we just ate fast food in the parking lot. I'm just saying, maybe put up a damn sign. Anyway, the bellhop... What the hell? Hey, you! Step away from that table! <laughs> say, brain fart. Window, sorry. <laughs> Hold it right there! I'm warning you! Hands where I can see them! Cleveland Junior? Mr. Griffin! You shot me! Oh my god! Peter, where are you? Peter? Okay, I'm starting a good wife without you. Phew! <laughs> Unlike you, I just dodged a bullet. All right, give me all your money. Stewie, what's this guy doing? No idea. I don't know him that well. He was kicking a red box machine outside of CVS. Seemed like the kind of guy who could help us out. Okay, next is the Brown family. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I write descriptions of my patients to help me remember them. No, it's okay. Our last name is Brown. Oh, okay, phew. Ah, then this must be Chubster Dum Dum. All right, as the one adult on a team full of children, I'm going to act good-natured while being subtly furious at all your mistakes. Okay, break on three. One, two, three. Break! Wow! Let's focus, Chris. Can we just focus for a minute? And let's all face the same direction. You shot my son. Look, Cleveland, I I'm real sorry. I, I thought someone was breaking into your house, and I, and I panicked. It was dark. I, I, I don't know why he didn't just say it was him. I couldn't hear you. I was listening to music. I went to turn it down. And the next thing I know, you shot me. Why the hell were you climbing in the window of your own house anyway? My dad says opening the door lets out too much air conditioning. I already have a bullet in my son. I don't need one in my wallet. Daddy, tell us more about the Black 90s. Well, Magic Johnson got AIDS, and I was like, what? But then he came back the next season and scored 30 points in a game where no one would touch him. And he caught it through heterosexual sex contact? Well, that is magic. Mr. Brown, you testify that you were listening to music at the time of the shooting. That's right. And isn't Jay-Z music? Yes. And doesn't he have the lyrics, I put the gun to you, I'll kill you, I'll chop you up, put you inside the mattress like drug money? <gasps> well, I was listening to Neil Sedaka's Hanukkah album. And isn't it true that your last name is the same as Chris Brown's? Yes, but I don't see And what, what did Chris Brown do to Rihanna? He hit her. 
like a hundred times. Your Honor, I'd like to enter into evidence this photo of a badly beaten Rihanna, as well as this print ad for the Entourage movie. Why? I can't unsee this. Who is this for? Mr. Griffin? Yeah? Just so you know, I'm going to be coming for your ass. Well, what's that now? I'm saying it's on. You ever feel the cool steel of a switchblade pressed against your temple? <laughs> hey, Mr. Griffin, I'm just kidding. Or am I? You're gonna wonder about that, you fat bitch. Oh. See you later! Oh. 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 When I was trying to get back into my house, and my neighbor, Mr. Griffin, shot me. He said he felt threatened by me. And that hurt even worse than getting shot. Aww. Your Honor, permission to hug the witness? Granted. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Griffin. You're every bit as sympathetic as this chubby-cheeked Coco Angel. I haven't been listening. What's going on? Mr. Brown, please pick up this knife. Ah! He's got a knife! <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Guilty! That n***a guilty! Guilty! This isn't fair. They're making my son look like a common hoodlum. Joe, you're a cop. Do something. You didn't see him with the knife? He is a common hoodlum. Duh. No, the soap covers everything. You might see, like, the very top of the crack, but that's that's not what it's about. Out. But this looks like a drug den. What are you talking about? Drug den, drug den. Drug den, drug den. I told you it was a drug den. How you doing? Come on in. Hello, new friends. Oh, Brian, your fur is so soft. Oh, your ears, your ears are like dog ears. Hold me up with a whip. Oh, pen. this couch. Uh, Stewie, your head is so smooth. Did you do that for e pill? How, how what is that you doing? How, how you doing that? How you doing that? Oh. Everything here is fantastic. Ah, ah, these clothes. I could do cocaine if I wanted to. Peter, you want some potatoes? Yeah, how you doing? I was just asking if you wanted... We got enough napkins? Yeah, yeah, we got enough napkins. That's enough. That's enough right there. What time is it? Is it is this straight? Is this straight right there? It, look, look, wait, is it, wait, see, I'll fix it. No, no, is this straight? I, I, I can't. Is it, is it, is it, ah! Meg, sweep that up. Just get, 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 a, get a broom. Sweep that up. Sweep that up. Put it in your room, but sweep it up first. And when I was your age, my Uncle Roy shared a beer with me. I drank it, and I was so excited I fell asleep. I must have tossed and turned something fierce, because when I woke up, my pants were off. Never saw much of Uncle Roy after that. Turns out we weren't even related. Anyway, I thought him sharing that beer with me was the coolest thing ever. And I know nowadays things are different, so I got some crystal meth. I figured we could do it together as father and son. I don't know about that. Tell you what, I'll get us started. Ah, <sighs> that feels... That feels better. You sure that stuff is okay? All I know is the guys who made it are dead. Why is there no hole in this wall? <laughs> you know, this thing is bugging me. All right, I'm going to take a hike. I guess Disney wouldn't let us do the Aladdin one. Holy crap! Who knew we'd run into you here? Except everyone if Fox ruined it in the promo. What's that? Sorry, I was taking a selfie while shooting a Snapchat, while periscoping that Snapchat, while Instagramming latte art, while shazamming the weekend, while streaming Master of None, while retweeting George Takei, while saying, this wins the internet, while still being hashtag so bored. Hammer? Hammer? Come on, man, don't make me look up from my phone. Oh, you're texting me. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the museum. Thanks. Hey, just to be clear, I should touch everything, right? No, please don't touch anything. Sorry, it's my first time in an adult museum. She did! Thanks, Ollie. 
Yes, Diane is no longer with us. She was shot by an unknown assailant after she herself committed a series of gruesome murders. I'd like to welcome our new co-anchor, Joyce Kinney. Welcome, Joyce. Thanks, Tom. Wow, you sound crazy nervous. In local news, there was a hit and run by a drunk driver today at Quahog Park. Two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. Peter Griffin Christmas. Featuring such standards as... <laughs> Everybody look at the snow in the yard. And who could forget? I brought these gifts for you. They're up in my bum. And everyone's favorite. La 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 la. Look at the bells. Look at the bells. Holy crap! Here comes Jesus, and he doesn't look too happy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hey, Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come join us. Oh, okay. Hey, Peter, my kid's selling Girl Scout cookies. And we're collecting for Janet's pregnant. Softball sign-up? Trick-or-treat for UNICEF? Oh, pitch in for Ed's retirement cake? Oh. Holiday party? Whoa. Company picnic? Oh. Secret set? Oh. Carpool info? Oh, finally! Now I can get myself to the... Oh! Oh! Uh-oh! Hey, I'm Chris Griffin's father. Hey, I'm Chris Griffin's father. Now, that's not very nice. I don't sound like that at all. You're making me sound like Michael Stipe. Listen, I, I just want you to know what you did the other day was wrong. What you did the other day was wrong. You're not making this easy, Kyle. You're not making this easy, Kyle. My name's Peter Griffin. I'm a big, fat, dumb butt face. Shut up, Kyle. I'm Peter Griffin. I'm a dorky, fat, numb nuts. Kyle, I said shut up. You're a poop nose. Hey, Peter. Hey, what's going on? Is something wrong? No, 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 no. Every, everything's, everything's cool right now. Might be some problems later, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hello? Peter did what? Well, I best be getting to work. It's nighttime. Boy, you said it. All right, take it easy. Nope. Peter, yep. you get down from that tree this instant. No, you're going to yell at me. You're damn right I'm going to yell at you. You beat up a 13-year-old boy. He called me names. You're 43, and you just assaulted our neighbor's child. This is a very serious situation. Well, maybe you should have just had an abortion, Lois. Would that make you happy if I was <laughs> never born? What? I'm going to prison, aren't I? Dad, I got bullied at school. They flipped up my lunch tray. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if that's the worst thing that ever happened to a guy. Whoa. Whoa. Billy, this guy in this book here, he's really getting the business. Yikes. Okay, I'm sorry. What happened at school today? Everybody, I've come up with the perfect plan to catch the bet. I bought this remote-controlled toy helicopter to which I have attached this handgun. And I tell you, this thing is not easy to fly. Peter, that doesn't seem very... Here goes! Now, I don't have anything to control the trigger with, so I put it on a timer. But I don't remember how long I said it... Ah! Ah! Okay, so now the bat has a gun and the knives I gave him. What? Why would you give him knives? I didn't think it would matter. I was counting on this helicopter thing working. Get back here! Damn it! God! Yep. Tear him up! Tear him open! There it is! Yep. Tear him open! Turn up on him! Yep. Oh, I know just how you feel, Pumpkin. I've had my share of disappointments, too. It's a girl! Can, can you... can you check again? I can't believe you just sold out your own daughter! Oh, Meg, honey, I know what I did was wrong, and I know this isn't the first time I've embarrassed you. And if you add the measure of the angles of a right triangle, the sum. Hey, up. Meg, you mind cleaning out the shower next time you shave your legs? It's like a carpet in there. That's not right. That's Listen, not right. Meg, you're a one-of-a-kind girl with a mind of her own. Now, see, that's what people hate. Really? I'm telling you, just be the girl you think everyone else wants you to be. Yeah! <laughs> it's so obvious. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> bye, Mom, bye, Mom. <laughs> The reason why that's so funny to me is because a lot of people have given me that same advice. Look, just be exactly who other people want you to be. You'll go far in life. <laughs> Jokes on them, the crap don't work. You gotta be yourself, man. Being other people, it don't stick good, yeah? 
Boy, <laughs> it sure is great being thin and popular. Let's go throw up. Hey, sure. Oh, cool. yeah. Hey, I oh. love throwing up. <laughs> oh. Then Brittany and Amber were like, let's go to the mall. And I was like, okay, I'll go to the mall. But then Amber wasn't going to go, so I went to the mall, and you're not going to believe it. They both showed up. Um, hold on, Meg, Meg, I'm, I'm sorry. That, that is a really boring story. <laughs> I haven't been this bored since that stupid drive-in movie. Well, it was lunchtime, and... I love the color of your Prada bag. Yeah, but yours has that great clasp. Hey, Meg, you want to come to lunch? Oh, you know what? There's no room in my car for your big, ugly purse. <laughs> wow! Meg, let me tell you about popularity. Mrs. Canner, are you coming? Bye. Oh, oh, Daddy, oh. if you really love me, you buy me a Prada bag. I can't no. say no to you, honey. What are they, like 10 bucks? More like 11. Hundred. <laughs> you wish I no. love you that much. Brian, you'll have to audition just no. like everyone else. Oh, God, of course. I, yep. I, oh, you didn't think, you, you thought I was, ha, huh. Lois. I can paint scenery. Can I be in the show, Mom? Yes, you can be the dumpy teenager who stays backstage and cries because nobody finds her attractive. <laughs> Meg, how could you bring a toad into this house? It's not mine. I was just holding it for a friend. See, it was lunchtime. Okay, Connie, you're up. Connie D'Amico does Ooh. toad? I guess Miss Wears a Hat All the Time is gonna narc on us, aren't you? Yes. Mr. Burler's coming. Oh, man, we are so busted. Put it in here. He won't check no. me. No. All right, what's going on back here? Oh, hello, Megan. Wait a minute. You're not part of the popular clique. You run along and play alone somewhere. Shame on you all, getting her hopes up like that. <laughs> you must be the Griffins. Come in. Oops. <laughs> you got a little smudge. Ooh. Hey, you got something on your other cheek, too. Motherfucker! Go! That shit threw off the taste of my potato chips I'm eating, dirty mother. Can I help you? Yeah, some company hired me to stand next to you all day so you'd look better by comparison. That's ridiculous. I don't hey, need... Hey, Meg, do you get less ugly? Yeah. That works. That works. Hey. If I'm in a room full of dudes that are like three foot four inches tall, I look like Black God of War. It's what I am. Oh, the end result of a drunken backseat grope fest and a broken prophylactic? I'm on the flat girl squad. Oh, honey, congratulations. Hey, Chris, I bet you can't do this. <laughs> I bet I can. We perform Ooh. at all the football games. I'm practically a cheerleader. Oh, Meg, that's wonderful. Isn't that wonderful, Peter? Hey, way to go, Stewie. All right, Chris, I'll see you a fork and raise you a gravy ladle. <laughs> that's actually You're fun. on! So, you're a, you're a flag girl. That's great, Meg. Yes, yes. Now you can be someone else when the boys don't call. <laughs> <laughs> Freezing my nips off out here. Oh, look, there's Meg. Meg! Here we go. Hey, she's doing a good job, hey. Uh, Peter, isn't she beautiful? Yeah, but I think she's with that guy. They've been holding hands all night. I mean Meg. Oh, 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 yeah. Wow! Yeah, Oh, this meat stinks something fierce. <laughs> this ought to knock her down a couple notches. What's really messed up is I've gone through all of this stuff about like 15, 20 times over because I had to keep switching schools so much. It's really like this. <gasps> hey, Meg! Oh, man, I love how these kids celebrate these days. Oh! Megan, you must try the brisket. Allow me to serve it in the manner to which you're accustomed. <gasps> Come talk to me sometime, sweetheart. I know what it takes to be cool. Oh my god! I feel like such a shitty human being because that was really funny to me. I wanted to laugh so bad, but I held it in because I was like, that's a really crappy reason to laugh at someone. But that doesn't mean it was any less funny. God, it's her. Look, about the other night. Oh, that was hilarious. I just wish I'd known ahead of time. I would have brought potato salad. <laughs> no, 
No, no. <laughs> Has Dad found a permanent job yet? Meg, your father's going through a bit of a career transition. He's just sampling a few things, searching for something that fits him just right. <gasps> well, clearly it's not that tube top. Hey, looking for a good time, sweet cheeks? Oh, my God. Peter, get in the car. Okay, but it'll cost you. What do you want, a Cleveland steamer? I said get in the car. What's a Cleveland <laughs> steamer? It means that he'll... Whoa, 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 be cool, be cool. Yeah, she'll go to Maple Street and then take a left and then uh, you go. Uh... Okay, so you want a party or what? Get in the car right now! It's eerie, isn't it? Like looking into the future. Up, the toast is ready. I'll get it, Lois. There you go. Uh, Peter, maybe you shouldn't bring your lance to the table. Lois, if I'm going to get good enough to impress the Black Knight, my lance must be with me at all times. Oh, you guys are going to be so proud when you see me out on that field. Now, if you'll excuse me, i got to go practice. <laughs> oh! oh my, my earring! That's oh! Ah! Oh! All right, everyone. Clearly something very strange has happened here. We each seem to have acquired superpowers from that nuclear waste. We've been given a gift. And whether that gift is Chris's fire conjuring, Stewie's telekinesis, Brian's super speed... Ask me how the Queen of England is. How's the Queen She's of... She's great. Peter's morphing ability. Hey, Lois, I'm a wishing troll. <laughs> My super strength. Or Meg's, um, super amazing ability to grow her fingernails. We have a responsibility to use these powers properly and not to abuse them for personal gain. Understand? Yes. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Got it. I'm glad you guys could come tonight. Oh, Chris, honey, we wouldn't miss your open house. You kids are the most important thing in our lives. Oh, my God, we forgot Meg. Don't worry about Meg. Oh. She's got everything she needs in her room. Oh, they did leave her with cheese balls. Yeah. Left her a nice watering bottle. I wish I had an exercise wheel. Mom, Dad, am I ugly? Oh, of course not, sweetie. Yeah, no. where'd you get a stupid no. idea like that? Craig Hoffman. Craig, uh, Craig Hoffman said that? Well, he's a sharp kid. You might be ugly. <laughs> no! Spirits? You finding everything okay? Yes, thank you. Well, you just let me know if you need any. How do these jeans look? <laughs> Mom, no matter what I wear, I look ugly. Oh, Meg, you're being... That's... Let's try down here. Takanawa! Miss Takanawa! Over here! Oh, my daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. <laughs> makeover, Dad? Don't I look great? Oh, Meg, honey, I always thought you were beautiful just to wake <laughs> oh, 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 God. Couldn't do that with a straight face. <laughs> oh, 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 welcome to the family, sweetheart. Chris, go burn all Meg's old pictures. Finally! Look, Mom, I've had it! I am not babysitting anymore! It's Saturday night, I can be out having a life. Meg, if you don't want to babysit anymore, that's fine. But don't you stand there and lie to me. Please go out with me. I'm just trying to make Neil jealous. I promise I'll pay and everything. Yeah, uh, that sounds cool, but I'm gonna be in the hospital that night. Oh! 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 my God, it's Jackie Chan! Oh my God, it's Jackie Chan! That's racist. Oh my God, it's Jackie Chan! That's Hi racist. there, always nice to meet the fan of my movies. Oh my God, you're Ethan Hawke! Uh, no I'm not. Sorry, my mistake. Oh my God, it's Ethan Hawke! Mom, can we go get some food? Oh my God, it's Malcolm in Middle! I'm not a boy! Yes, you are! Wow, <laughs> this looks <laughs> just like my <laughs> room at home. Yeah, <laughs> except for all the trophies and pictures of friends. It's working! Just need a little more. Gonna what? A model. Hey, that's fantastic, Lois. And I'll pleasure myself to your photos. Me too. Oh. Me too. Oh, oh, God, Meg, that's sick. That's your mother. I'm just trying to fit in. Get out. Get out of this house. I said no. That's good about your modeling, Lois. Dad, how could you be okay with Mom parading herself around like this? I mean, she's half naked. It makes all women look bad. Meg, who let you back in the house? Uh. 
So, Brian, you ready to go play some dads at the clam? Ah, sorry, Peter. I can't make it tonight. I have a date. <laughs> Dad! But you, you were supposed to drive tonight. Well, what am I supposed to do? If I drive, I'll have to have a bunch of drinks first because I am very self-conscious about my driving. Oh, you've got a date. What's his name? Ha! Did you, did you see that? Did you see what I did? I made it seem as though you were a homosexual. <laughs> That's funny to me. How exciting, Brian. So who's the lucky lady? Well, uh, actually, her name is Shauna Parks. Meg's teacher? <laughs> Yeah, we really Mother held off. Mother! She's great. <laughs> Mother! I don't need Brian to watch TV with. I got you, Meg. Mother! Hey, hey, what's that? What's that? Is that a dog? Is that, is that another dog on the TV? Huh? You see that? Go get it. Go get it. Yeah, what's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, what's that? Who's there? Is there somebody at the door? Somebody at the door? Huh? Somebody at the door? Huh? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Well, you, 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 you. I'm not a dog, you fat bastard! You people knock me off the modem! When are you coming home? How's the food in South America? Do the women there have exposed clitorati? I'll be home in a month after people have forgotten I'm a freshman. Well, please, just take care of yourself, honey. What is clitorati? Hey, guys, is everyone on the phone? Oh, I gotta go. Something's in the oven. I lost a shoe. No, no, don't leave me on the phone with her! Stewie? Hey, how school? Hi, Stewie. Listen, I am swamped, but, uh, Mom has kept me up to date on everything you're doing, and I think it's just great. Hanging up now. Dad, don't you see? This is a wonderful place, and you're just using it to escape from your problems at home. What do you mean? Meg's right there. Oh my god. Mom, look! They're tearing down Roger Williams Park to build a strip mall. Oh no! I take Stewie there all the time. That's where I go to make out with my boyfriend, Darren... Mitchell Stork. Yep, he's, uh, he's the chairman of the soccer ball team. Well, alright. Make sure you practice safe sex, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, could you please pass the potatoes? Ah, damn it, Meg! Uh, all right, next up, does everyone have a lab partner? I don't. Me neither. She can be my partner. Sarah, that's very irresponsible. Meg is awful. Hey, do you have any other friends you want to invite to your party? Uh, no. Most of my friends are out of town. Oh, this is going to be great! We'll stay up late, trade stories. <gasps> Ooh, let's watch the video of my ballet recital. Here it is! <gasps> Sunshine Bear! Wait! <gasps> hey, Meg, will you hold this for Daddy? Okay. Why? Uh, it's a present. It's a thanks for being such a sweetie watermelon. So you'll hang on to that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. This is weird. Am I supposed to eat this? I hate you! I hate you! I don't understand why she still trusts her family members. They've shown her what they're gonna do. A few days and you'll be just fine. Thank you, Doctor. I realize now that eating is not the way to solve my problems. The you hear that, that, Meg? For your information, Mom, I don't eat to solve my problems. I cut myself. Is that better? Chris, we all love your hat. Thanks, Mom. Hey, Doc, what did you do with my mom's fat? Oh, honey, I'm so proud of you. You see, Brian, Meg has a job. Hey, Meg, if you're working for the mayor, you know what that means? Even you're doing better than Brian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, Brian's the new Meg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brian's the new Meg. Brian's the new Meg. Yeah, you're the new me. Shut up, Meg. What are you doing here, Brian? Still trying to smear my boss? No, no, no. I, I actually came to my senses and realized I was out of line. Uh, I'm just here to apologize. Oh, and, uh, you're so pretty. You're always pretty. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Mwah. Oh, well, it's my pleasure. Hey, can you guys hold on a sec? I gotta get this to Helen in accounting. Okay, bye. <laughs> breaking into our house. Dad! What is it? What's going on? I heard a noise. Is somebody downstairs? Ah! 
Oh, God, Meg, you startled me. I'm sorry. We need to figure out how we're going to survive. I mean, is there even any food in here? Right. Good thinking. Meg, go get us some sandwiches. Wait a minute. That's a great idea. If Meg can get through the vent, she can sneak out and go get help. Dad, I can't go through the vent. Yeah, she's right. We need to grease her up so she doesn't get stuck. Everybody spit on Meg. Stop! Stop! You got... Ah! Stop! Stop! Okay, I can't... I meant I can't do it because there are burglars down there. Come on. They're not going to touch you. You're covered with spit. Be careful, Meg. Ah! Ah! I hate you all! Hey, I hate you too, bitch. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Can you imagine? Me too. Thank God you guys are okay. Wow, you saved our lives, Mr. Swanson. We've captured the burglars. Oh, thank God. Unfortunately, they're pressing sexual harassment charges against your daughter. Well, that was a close call. You know, uh... Meg should probably get a lawyer. Oh, sweetie, thank you for keeping our spirits up with your stories. Your daughter's a sexual predator. If you don't do anything, she could go to jail for a long time. Don't thank me, Lois. Thank my ancestors for living lives of greatness. All right, guys, just take her away. Dad, help! Oh! Ah! Dad! Oh! Have fun at the dance, Meg. I hope she does. That kid really deserves it. Oh! Hey, Peter, shouldn't you be getting ready for your first news segment? Yeah, I'm a little nervous, though. I'm not sure what to talk about. You can talk about me. Oh, okay, honey, I'll talk about you. <laughs> hey, I'm Meg. I go to school. I wear glasses. Spot on, spot on. Uh, so, Meg, how was school? It was horrible. There's a dance Friday night and no one wants to go with me. Even my backup guy had plans. Hi, Jimmy. Um, I heard you didn't have a date to the dance, and I was wondering if you'd like to go with me. Oh, uh, I, uh, h hang on. I'd love to go, Meg, but I have to go to my little brother's funeral that night. Oh, I'm sure you'll find someone to go with you. No, I won't. I'm so fat and gross. Oh. I should just kill myself. Oh, that's... Come on. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna kill myself because no one will go with me. Oh. Oh. Meg. Stop it. No. Come on. Come on, don't. All right, all right, Meg, look. What, what if I... What if I drove you and walked in with you or whatever? <gasps> Brian, will you go with me? Are you going to kill yourself if I don't? Yeah. Well, then my hands are pretty much tied. Oh, Brian, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh! I have to buy a new dress. All the ones I have make me look fat. Oh. I would do that, unfortunately. Ugh. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I don't want anybody to... Come up with that idea. Yes, Brian, I present to you your polished turd for the evening. How do I look, Brian? Ah, you sure do, Meg. FYI, the carpet matches the drapes in color and quantity. You ever seen a blacksmith's apron? Brian, can I ask you something? Are you drinking so much because you don't want to be here? No, no, Meg. Uh... That's, that's my God. Look at these chicks. You know, the, the best thing about these girls is e even if you're terrible, they don't know the difference. You know, Meg, there's no dogs allowed here, so you're gonna have to leave. But Brian can stay. <laughs> Damn, that was a really good one. Ah, oh, this sucks. Can you believe I'm stuck with Meg driving me around? Dad, it's just you and me in the car. Yeah, don't remind me. It's bad enough I got a suspended license. I gotta ride around town with stinky McPoop pants. I want apple juice! Dad, you left your apple juice at home. I want apple juice! <sighs> Well, I've seen some bodies that have been dead for, uh, six hours. Some of them aren't too bad. Oh, then Halle Berry. God, will you guys just shut up back there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, Rose, will you stop it? Stop it! <laughs> hey, guys, check this out. <laughs> hey, Meg, don't be such a hothead. What? Hey, Meg, you sure look hot today. What? <laughs> hey, Meg, I lit your scalp on fire. <laughs> Wow! What the hell is your problem, you dumb bimbo? Look, I know sometimes I give you a hard time, you know, calling your names, reading your diary, farting in your cereal when you go to get milk and then laughing. Ah, ha, 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 she doesn't know she's eating my fart. But you know, Meg, I'm starting to realize I got a really wonderful daughter. Thanks, Dad. 
Peter, good news. Your suspension is up. You can have your license back. You, you mean it? I'm free? No more getting driven around? Oh, sweet! So, I guess this means you don't need me anymore. You'll probably go back to treating me like crap, huh? Well, maybe just to keep up appearances in front of the family. You know, peer pressure and all that. But from now on, Meg, you and me are secret best friends. Who wants a glass of fresh lemonade? Not me! What I want is a fresh glass of better daughter! <laughs> hey. Ah! Ah! What? What? Um, Mom, Dad, um... I decided I want a big party this year with all my friends, and maybe a band. Is that cool? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. sure. Why not? Sure. Oh, thanks, guys. You're the best. What's she talking about? A, a party for what? I don't know. She have a period or something? She getting married? No. If she was getting married, we probably would have seen a guy around, right? Sound reasoning. You guys, it's Meg's birthday next week. <gasps> oh my God, it is. Peter, we gotta put together a party. Hey, Aunt Lois, I'm ordering a birthday cake, and a guy wants to know how old Meg is. I didn't know what to tell him. You're asking me? Yeah, how old is Meg? Well, I don't know. Well, my God, Lois, I thought you were the one keeping track of that. No, no, I have no idea. Don't you remember me faking my way through her last birthday? You are going on fall in line. Should we just ask her how old she is? That, uh, that'd be kind of awkward, huh? Hey, maybe we should just cut off a leg and count the rings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or maybe try carbon dating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. You know, we're gonna have to talk to her and kind of steer the conversation in a way that gets her to spill it. Come in. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Meg. So, Meg, your birthday's coming up, huh? You excited about turning... Huh? Uh, Meg, uh, I got 16 candles for your birthday cake. How does that sound? That's not right. So, less, more, too many, <laughs> uh, not enough. Oh, you stupid son of a bitch! You don't even know how old I am! Meg, that kind of language is not appropriate for a girl your age. Or is it? I'm gonna be 17, <laughs> you jerks! She's the jerk. Sweetheart, when will you be back? I don't know, Lois. All I know is somewhere in the great land of Ireland is a big fat bastard who looks like me. Call me as soon as you can, Peter. And I really hope you find your real father. We're gonna miss you, Dad. Come back soon, Daddy. I love you. That'll do, pig. That'll do. My point being that I'm a bully, not a nerd. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, in the kitchen, Meg. That's not okay. Come on, bro. You wipe it on yourself. Hey, Meg. Proud of you. Hang on, Lois. There's a case of beer in the fridge. I can't leave that behind. Meg, you're a good swimmer. Go get it. What? But, Dad. And for God's sake, do not be afraid to make me a sandwich while you're in there. That's real. That's real. <gasps> Peter, Max has been in there a long time. Boy, you cannot wait to criticize her at every turn, can you? Go get her! Well, Lois, I am sorry for snapping at you earlier. You were right to criticize Meg. She could not even handle this simple task. She's in there right now, taking a nap underwater. For God's sake, save her! <laughs> My God, we better get her to a hospital. She doesn't look too good. Yeah, she looks worse than Andy Garcia when he had his conjoined twin. I mean, she's my only daughter, and I feel like I've never treated her as well as I should have. Hey, Meg, you got something on your shirt? <laughs> Hi, Dad. Oh, don't be too hard on yourself, Peter. We all do things that we're not proud of. Meg, you look beautiful. Thank you, Michael. I have never been more in love with someone than I am with you right now. Oh, Michael, I love you too. And I have some wonderful news. I I'm not pregnant. What? That's why you should always use condoms, dudes. Always use condoms.
Lois, look at this. My essay won first prize in the New England Rising Writers Contest. I'm going to be honored at the big ceremony on Martha's Vineyard. Ooh, New England Rising Writers. I'm sure it'll be a veritable who's that of the literary world. Well, laugh all you want, but they're going to put me up at a luxury hotel, all expenses paid. Wow! Congratulations, Brian! Meg, please, I'm talking. Over a thousand people entered the contest, and they chose mine. Well, that's wonderful, Brian. Yeah, that's a great achievement. Just like the first chemotherapy patient to figure out the handkerchief look. Oh, thank God the vets are here to help Brian. I want to be a veterinarian when I grow up. Meg, we've been over this. You're going to gain 150 pounds and write Ugly Betty fan fiction. But, Dad! Meg, that's final. Meg, that's final! Meg, that's final! See, this bird knows what I'm talking about. Thank you. Mom, can we go back to the vet and see the pretty vet assistant again? Well, I guess if Brian gets sick again... Oh, boy! Hey, Brian, look! <laughs> Brian's sick! Mom, get your key! Oh. All right, I'll see you at dinner. Think fast! Wow, deodorant! Are you sure I'm old enough? Oh, I think so. I'm gonna make you a little less gross every day. Aww. Oh, look at him sleep. Oh, I wonder what he's dreaming about. Shut up, Meg. Oh, Susie's so cute. I can't wait to have a baby someday. Oh, Meg, we've talked about this. In order to make a baby, a man has to be aroused enough to ejaculate. Sorry, Dad, I forgot. That's all right, sweetie. Now you run along and play in the mud. And I know another way we can take advantage of this. Chris, Meg, meet me in the living room in ten minutes. Bring a pencil and paper. Dad, what are we doing? Meg, now that Lois has connections at Fox, we are going to invent our own cartoon show. And we are here to brainstorm ideas. All right, go. Anything that pops into your head. Ooh, how about a show about a bunch of disabled ducks and we'll call it Handy Quacks? Wow, caught fire a little earlier than I thought we would. Perfect. All right, let's spend many hours on this. All right, the main duck, what's his name? I don't know, uh, Red Hiney Monkey? <laughs> I love it, I love it. No. All right, now what's his wacky neighbor duck's name? Giddy Goose? Meg, please try to formulate ideas clearly before you vocalize them. I'm not sure you're getting the show, Meg. Well, All right, names, names, good. names. Come on now. <gasps> Poopy face tomato nose. Yes, no. write it down. Hurry, no. hurry, 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 hurry. No. Maybe they live in a pond? Chris, can I talk to you in the kitchen for a sec? They just some haters, bro. I don't think she's getting it. She's I know, I know. That's got to be the worst thing, thing in the world. But she's not getting it. Yeah, I mean, to be in the writer's group, everyone else is completely stupid, and you're the smart one, you know, but they keep agreeing with each other because their ideas are dumb, and they can agree, you know, because they can relate to one another, because they're both dumb, and it's wild. Maybe be pleasantly surprised. Okay. All right, here we go. Handy Quacks, episode one, scene one. Let's get them laughing right off the bat. Interior, Red Hiney Monkey's house. What's Red Hiney Monkey doing? Um, maybe he just got up. He's making breakfast? Eh, I don't think people eat breakfast anymore. More suggestions. Ooh, what if Red Hiney Monkey and Poopy Face Tomato Nose are trying to build a house of cards and it keeps falling down? Oh, Jiminy Christmas, we have all been there. That's going in. Oh, we are cooking, 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 cooking now. All right, now let's take a walk down this road, see where it leads us. Dialogue, what are they saying? Um, maybe Poopy Face Tomato Nose says, uh... Boy, this house of cards just doesn't want to stay up. Well, I mean, yeah, if you want to go right at it like a Neanderthal, sure, but I think we're shooting for a little more subtlety here, you know? I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that that's a real conversation when I hear it. P people don't talk like that, Meg. Ooh, ooh, what if they just bought a new wood stove and Red Hiney Monkey says, Boy, it's so hot in here because we just bought that new wood stove and we're, we're sweating, sweating and, and our, our hands, hands are all slippery, slippery and that's, that's why, why we, we can't, can't get, get the card house to stay up. up. Thank you, Chris. We have liftoff. Ha, ha, ha. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry, but none of this stuff seems to make sense. I mean... We haven't even referenced the fact that they're ducks or that they're handicapped, but the show is called Handy Quacks. Uh-huh. Chris, can I see you in the kitchen? This is not working out. This is not working Dad, out. Dad, look, no. she's trying. No. She, she, she gets along with everybody. She does not get along with everybody. She's, yeah, she's kind of hot. She's office hot. Yeah, right? man, you're right. She's the only woman around here. Yeah, in the real world, she doesn't hold on. In addition to everything else, she's got B.O. She's got B.O. All right, I have come up with a design for Red Hiney Monkey, the head of the Handy Quacks. I want only positive feedback, please. What? <laughs>
People only ask for only positive input when they know what it really looks like. Why does he have such a big red bum? Because it's funny, Meg. People will tune into Handy Quacks each week and see that big red bum and get a big laugh out of it. Why? Because it's relatable. They'll see themselves in it. I no. think the design is great, Dad. No. Good note. Good note. Okay, now I also had a thought for a female character who's always nagging at Red Heine Monkey and telling him not to leave his beer cans lying around and whatnot, and her name is Bitch Duck. That kind of looks like Mom. Not finished talking, Meg. Okay, and this is Poopy Face Tomato Nose. You can see I gave him a funny little suitcase. Now, see, the joke is most people only carry a suitcase when they're going on vacation, but Poopy Face Tomato Nose carries one all the time. And see... He's got a sleeve hanging out. He didn't pack it right. Oh, well, you know what could be funny? Maybe one week he actually goes on vacation. And he's already got the suitcase. Chris, can I see you in the kitchen for a sec? Your writing partner is out of her mind. Okay, first of all, stop calling her my partner. She's, she's terrible. I she's know terrible. that. But then you know what? It's not, what? it's not fair to her. Well, that's sort of a cop. Having her here is yeah, not fair yeah, If her. you want to fire her, you go ahead and fire her. But what? don't pretend you're doing it for her benefit. Don't put that on me. She's it's firing herself. You. No, she she's can't firing fire herself. herself. With you her lack of talent not... and her lack of funniness. Yeah. I just, I just, you know, I just feel like you and I have captured lightning in a bottle we with have. handy quacks. Yes. And she's just coming in, unscrewing the top and letting it all out. Meg, your services will no longer be needed. See, Chris, come here. Come here, look. Check it out. Oh. Holy crap. No way. <laughs> I know, huh? <laughs> Classic. Bro, that reminds me of my toothache situation I had, like, a couple weeks ago. My face was swelling up, yo. It was, oh, my God. It was terrible. This to my bud. Meg, your mother made soup for you. Here you go, honey. Ah! Oh! Here's your milk. Oh! Oh! Good morning, Mom and Dad. Wow, look who's finally out of our room after five days. Oh, you're alive. I guess you are going to need that college fund. Chris, do Daddy a favor. In the garage, there is a very expensive show camel. Please return him to the bazaar for a refund. We have the giveaway, Humpy. I told you not to name him. <gasps> There's Connie D'Amico. Chris, don't walk next to me. Hi, Connie. Uh, so I heard you talking in the hall the other day about how much you liked High School Musical 2, so I burned you the soundtrack. Okay, prepare for itemized insults. A, don't ever listen to me talk. You don't deserve my words. B, when I said I enjoyed it, I was speaking ironically. And C, you actually like High School Musical? What are you, eight? No, that's impossible because I've seen that big hairy mud flap ass of yours in the locker room. Questions? Hey Meg, take that. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Wow, my favorite. PB&J with a crust cut off. What'd you get? Your crusts. That's it? No. I also got an orange peel and a picture of mom eating a turkey leg. Oh. <gasps> oh my god! Connie's coming over to talk to me. Sit up straight! Hey, Meg. Nice posture. Get lost. Thank you. Ugh, speaking of spazoids. Wow! Can you believe it, Connie? You and I are gonna be at the same party this weekend. Oh, this is so cool! Hey, what are you wearing so I make sure I don't wear the same thing? Um, you're not invited, Meg. What? But it's at my house. Uh, Connie, let me handle this. I'm sorry, Meg. You can't come. There's an ass-to-boob ratio that you're way off of. What? <laughs> oh, Meg, at sweetheart, why don't you just go downstairs and join the party? I wasn't invited. I hate Chris. He's such a jerk. Oh, look, honey, he's just a little confused about who he is right now. I'm sure deep down he still loves his big sister. I hate my school. I hate everyone. I hate my life. <laughs> okay, look, Meg, I've been at this for 45 minutes. I don't know what else I can say. Here's a Sylvia Plath book and a bottle of Ambien. I'm going to look the other way, and whatever happens, happens. Oh! Hey, Meg, think fast. <laughs> Loser! All right, let's do it. When we're done with him, he'll be more of an outcast and a seagull at an Adam Sandler movie. Peter, I came over to ask you something. Will you give me away at my wedding? Well, sure, that'd be great. Jillian, don't you want your own father to give you away? Lois, don't ruin this for me. Don't ruin this like you're ruined kick cereal. 
My father can't give me away because he's dead. <laughs> well, then Peter would be happy to do the honors. Plus, when's the next time you're going to get to give a bride away? I know. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You can give me away when I get married, Dad. <laughs> At least he didn't hit her in the face. Even though he actually... Hold on, let me see. Did he hit her in the face? Give me away when I get married, Dad. <laughs> um, have you seen my trapper keeper? <laughs> This is Meg, your daughter. No! Oh. No, Peter, that's not your catchphrase. Morning, nice people who I still don't know your names and who mean nothing to me. Well, I certainly oh. hope that doesn't apply to me, especially after last night. You got a point there, hot stuff. And if sex with the rest of you is half as good as it was with her, then I think we're all going to get along just fine. Oh, Yay! No, no, no. No, no, Peter, you can't have sex with the kids. Well, I wish you told him that before he lost his memory. <gasps> it was a joke. I was just making a joke. That's your sense of humor? I was just kidding. God. Meg, that's awful. Jeez, you open your mouth for a joke once and that's what you come up with? That's messed up, Meg. I was just trying to be funny. That wasn't funny. That was just dark. Yeah, that's your father. Oh, get out, Meg. Get out yeah, of the kitchen. Yeah, Go real. on, get out. Yeah, get her out, 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 out yeah. of the kitchen. Go. That's real. It's not a good joke. Come on. You get out of here. Yep. <laughs> But why? Hey How did you get a horse? Ah! Why do you have a horse? Damn! God! Ah, ah! Oh! Dad, what are you doing? All right, Meg, this is only gonna hurt for about three weeks. Oh! Hey, who's the new dude? Oh my God, that's Meg Griffin. She just got out of prison. Hey, Meg, what'd they put you in jail for? Being ugly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Meg, what happened? Did you get out early for fat behavior? <laughs> <laughs> nice tattoo. Did you get your butt hair braided, too, while you were in there? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do, carve a gun out of soap and then not wash with it? Ha-ha, <laughs> P.U. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad that what I learned from going to public school and getting bullied so many times by so many different people that... At the end of the day, violence sometimes is the answer. And if it's not the answer, it's definitely the solution. And if not, then it can be the question, depending on what weapons you have on you when you ask said question. We'll have a direct indicator of the amount of truthfulness in what the person says. Because if you get somebody to within an inch of their life, oh, they truthful, nah. Truthful as hell. Okay, see you later, Mom. Oh, where are you off to, sweetie? You gonna go see three movies in a row so it seems like you're out doing something? Oh! No, Mom. I'm going to my first big high school Halloween party. Oh, that's nice. What are you dressed as? I'm a slutty cat. I'll be back late. Don't wait up. Hey, you know what, you guys? Hey. My cousin went to a Halloween party and made out with a guy, and she's hideous. I mean, really hideous. How'd your cousin do it? She wore a mask. Don't you get it? If we wear our masks and we don't take them off for the whole party, the boys won't know who we are and we'll have a better chance of hooking up. Good idea! We are so gonna hook up! I think we look hot. Totally hot! Whoa. Ugly bitches! No! Yo! Um, I was wondering if you'd like to come to my party tomorrow. Okay, that was a laugh. I owe y'all 10 push-ups. I'm not even gonna front. I can't even... <laughs> Ugly bitches! Ah! Moo! Ah! I'll be back late. Don't wait up. Hey, you know what, you guys? My cousin went to a Halloween party and made out with a guy, and she's hideous. I mean, really hideous. How'd your cousin do it? She wore a mask. Don't you get it? If we wear our masks and we don't take them off for the whole party, the boys won't know who we are, and we'll have a better chance of hooking up. Good idea! We are so gonna hook up! I think we look hot. Totally hot. Ugly bitches! No! <laughs> hey, Chris, um, I was wondering if you'd like to come to my party tomorrow. Thanks, Dad. I'd love to. Yeah. Oh, no. M-E-G. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, nothing. Sports! Birthday sports. No, just sports. Oh, okay. Maggie and not invited to my party. Dad, I want to go home. All right, let's try and figure a way out of here. Look around, see if you can find something to break the door down with. <gasps> Dad, there's a window here. 
Oh my god, maybe we can get outside. I thought that was a picture. No, it's too small. Wait, Dad, look! There's Meg walking down the street! This hey, be Meg! Hanging out with all your friends! <laughs> Come on! Hey, the ocean's that way! That's <laughs> a good one, too. All right, let's figure a way to get out of here. Is, is it hard being a paraplegic? Well, it's no picnic. Unless your version of a picnic is being the basket. Well, you seem like you have a good attitude about it. Yeah, you know, it's like we handicapped people say. When life ruins your legs, you just gotta make legonade. I can sort of relate to that. You know, sometimes it's really hard being me. And I guess I just make Meganade. That sounds disgusting. Is it just me, or does it sound like Meg just said she makes Niganade? I'm gonna go back and check it. I gotta see. It's really hard being me. And I guess I just make Meganade. We gonna edit that out. <laughs> Sounds disgusting. All right, we're here. Now run along or you'll be late. Did he just hey, smell his that? hand? Your boyfriend? <laughs> I started out as a pacifist growing up in the hood, but after a while I just became violent, but only to those who would start stuff with me. That's why I have so many crazy stories. Cause I don't ever start nothing with nobody. So people think I'm weak and then they try to bully me and they get slapped in the face in front of their friends. Oh, it's so great to see you kids. Here, I brought you all gifts from Texas. May, Where? this is a bar of soap with a scorpion in it. I thought that was a Stewie, condom. this is a lollipop with a desert spider in That's it. That's not okay. And Chris, this is a comb made out of an armadillo shell. Now just don't use it to comb your hair and make promises to women you won't keep. I probably just won't use it. What? Well, if you all don't mind, I'm gonna freshen up before dinner. You about to wash your Mom, vagina and she's so sad seat? and lonely. Look who the is talking. Oh! I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's, it's just that she's my sister. That's her sister? So what do you guys want to do now? Oh, hey, I know. Let's play finger bang. No. Bang, bang. No, I'm gonna no. finger bang I'm you, not. Chris. No. <laughs> I gotta buy finger bang you first, no. Dad. Bang, bang. I'm gonna finger bang uh, the two of you no. at the same time. No, bang, no, bang. no. Hey, me too. Bang. Oh, no one wants to get finger banged by you, Meg. Why don't you just go do that to yourself, Meg? Oh. I think I'm gonna be sick. That's nasty. That's nasty. That's nasty. Damn it, Meg. Will you stop that? That is so annoying. Oh, that was annoying? What about your stupid, obnoxious humming? Meg, yeah. don't talk to your father like that. Yeah, shut up, Meg. Well, you know, I, I've been sort of just hanging back here, taking all this in, because I didn't think I had a dog in this fight, but my money's on Harry Potter over there. Oh, you think that's funny, fat ass? Oh, 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 and when you're not terrorizing the community with your impulsive escapades, you're being a total jerk to your family. You shove your daughter's face in your ass and you fart on it. <laughs> If someone in the outside world could see the way you treat me, you would be in jail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is amusing to you. Uh. Oh, my God, Stewie, what is it? No, oh, he's just got a splinter. Oh, my poor baby. It's because these old stairs are just falling apart. It's not just the stairs. Meg has spent two days pinned under a roof beam. Oh! Let's just focus on the stairs, Brian. Wow! All right, Lois, remember to feed the cat and remember to get a cat. I still don't understand why you gotta go all the way to Hollywood. Because I know Tom Tucker could be a great actor, and I'm gonna help him make it happen. You see, everybody needs just one person to believe in their dreams so they can spread their wings and fly. Dad, can I have money for dance classes? Sit down, you no. dumpy bread loaf. I'd pay to see you not dance. When will you be back? I don't know, but I'll be sure to be back before Chris's big dance class recital. I believe in that boy. I don't wanna dance. You'll dance. So, Billy, how long will you be staying? Shit! <laughs> I don't wanna dance. You'll dance! You'll dance! With us. Are you kidding? As long as he wants. Yay! We live with a dolphin! Correct. Fatso. Anyway, I'm off to read Meg's diary. Only been here one night, but I get the sense we all dislike Meg. Um, I'm a dolphin. Smart. Intuitive. Also, Peter told me in the hall. <laughs> All right, see you guys that later. Me and Brian are going to play laser tag with Joe and Quagmire. What? No, you're not. Tonight's our family night. We agreed that every Sunday we do something together. <clears throat> what? Oh, nothing. I was just clearing my throat. Good. I thought you were going to say something. How about you, Meg? How are you doing? Pretty good. It's, it's kind of cool cutting something that's not me. Oh, that's some very impressive work. It's easy for Meg to dissect a pig because she is a pig. <laughs> hey!
All right, I'll let that one slide. If you're interested, the school has a program where you can shadow a real doctor and learn more about the medical field. Yeah, wow, I'd love to check that out. Great, I'll set it up. The only way I learned to deal with bullies was to bully them back. Nothing else would hardly work, man. I try everything else. I didn't know a pig could be a doctor. Hey! You get just a few more of those. <laughs> it looks like his jugular yeah. severed. I learned this at the hospital. Mr. Swanson, find me a first aid kit. Mom, hand me those towels. I'll do Did 20 I next time. Hold on to the ball. Hang in there, <clears throat> Dad. I'm going to get you fixed up. Shit. Okay, that's two. Damn. All right. Could y'all be getting on me, bro? One of y'all said last time, oh, you didn't do the push-ups. And I was like, motherfucker. Drew, you're supposed to edit in to make it look like I do if I don't. You know what I mean? Like, I have my back. God uh, damn it. Shit, I'm going to do them, you know, but it's only because I'm deciding to do them and nothing else. I should have listened to you. Peter, I don't care about that. I acted like a real jerk, and I'm sorry, Lois. I know you just get on my case because you're looking out for me. I am, Peter. And it's only because I love you, and I want the best for you and our family. I love you too, Lois. Isn't anybody going to thank me? Yeah, I'll have a water if you're getting one. Mr. Griffin, you have a visitor? Hey. <laughs> Isn't that the lion right, that tried ladies, to eat him? Let's pick teams for dodgeball. Connie, would you like to be a captain? Sure. I pick everyone except Meg. Fair enough. Go! Ow, 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 oh! Ow, ow, ow. Duck, dive, dodge, and dip, and duck! Move out the way! Run, bitch! Get out the. Oh! Hi, Dad. It's me. Just wanted you to know I got here safe. And sound? Yes, Dad. And sound. Oh, good. The sound is what concerns me. Oh, it's so amazing here, Dad. Yeah. You should see it. The uh -huh. apartment we're staying in is huge uh -huh. and has an incredible view uh -huh. of... Ah! 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 Something's going on. Some men just broke in. i fight my father if he ever did that to me on God. I swear to God I would. My God, Meg! I wonder what music they're gonna use for her. Why is he dressed like a woman? <laughs> Bitch, you better get up on the good foot. You better pop it. Yeah, seems about right. You better pop your but vagina. I need you to stay and have a chat with Collingsworth. I found him with another fag in his mouth this morning. Oh! oh so you fancy fags, do you? Well, here, have a old cotton of fags. I just want a comely lass to look upon me with favor. I what? look on you with favor. I look on all of you with favor. Shut up, British Meg. Oh, Stewie, how exciting. Your first visit to a real fire station. Yeah, you kids always loved your first trip to the fire station. You remember when we took Meg? Oh. What's going on? Do we have to get a new mom now? No, Chris. I'm gonna go get our old mom back. If I'm the one who made her feel this way, then I'm the one who's gotta fix it. Brian, keys. Chris, beer. Meg, ugly. Honey, give me any laundry you have. I'm doing a diapers and Meg load. Hey, Mom, can I ask you about something? Of course, Meg. What's on your mind? Well, there's this guy I like at school, and I was thinking about... I don't know, maybe calling him and... Meg, are you asking in this day and age when the CEO of Xerox is a woman, when the president of Brazil is a woman, even Rosie O'Donnell is a woman, whether it's appropriate for a girl to ask a boy out on a date? Of course it's appropriate. It's also sad and desperate and I would never do it, but you're not me, are you, sweetie? No, I'm not. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, jeez, ho! That even made me feel bad for Meg. Damn! <laughs> I go to sleep when people cry. And I, I... Princess, I'll get out of your hair. I can see you want to be left no, alone. No, I gotta get out. Why does everything bad always happen to me? Huh, you and me both. I got this cold. 
Uh, and it's it's just in that I don't want to give it to a friend stage, you know? Smart. Oh, God, you hear that? I sound like a Jewish c and Smart. You made a mistake. I know you feel terrible, but you're not a bad person, Meg. You just need to get back out there, and someday maybe you'll find the right guy. You really think so, Brian? I know so. All it takes is one guy making one mistake one drunken night. Sperm finding a fertile egg. You refusing to do what a sane woman would do. You got him, Meg. You got him for life. Thanks, Brian. No problem. Why is that really good and terrible hey, Brian, advice? Check it out. Meg's poking around the cargo hold. I'm going to give her a little scare. Do you like Coldplay? Uh, am I a dull white guy? Yes, I like Coldplay. God, Toby, I can't believe how much we have in common. It's like we were meant to find each other. I know. To us. Meg, if you were any more beautiful, that'd be neat. So what should we do next? What? Why would he do that? Who puts Rooflin in an ugly chick's drink? That defeats the purpose of Rooflin in the first place. You will meet the love of your life. You better not trust the drinks he gives you. Dude, run. Aww. Okay, Chris, I want to wear contacts, but I'm too squeamish to put them in myself, so you need to help me. Really? Is it that hard? My eyes are too sensitive. It's like they overreact or something. Okay. Ah, what happened to your eye? Don't worry about it, just put the lens in! But uh, where do I put it? The pupil's gone, your eye just looks like a ping pong ball! I think it rolled up into my head! Look, just, just do the other one! Ah! You look like one of those blind jazz guys! Where are you? I can't see anything! Oh, hell ah! no. No. Ah! You're on your own, bitch! I don't like this, just wear your stupid glasses! You're on your own, bitch! No, 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 no! Oh! <laughs> All right, I gotta say goodbye to the kids. Hey, champ, I want you to have this pocket watch. It still works, even though it's got a lot of Civil War brains all over it. Meg, I want you to have this sad-sounding fart. Chris, people are gonna tell you that you're stupid and that you're no good. We're all gonna miss you, Dad! Mother More than you know! <laughs> Uh -huh. Well, uh, okay, um, I, I love you, Dad, and no matter where you are, you'll always be my father. Uh, uh, shut up, Meg. <gasps> I don't believe it! Peter, you talked! Shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. Peter! Yeah. You're back! Yeah. Thanks. You know, I could use some part-time help here preparing the bodies if you're interested. Really? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, I could use the money, and I'm getting kind of tired of my old job. Only a half a point divides our top two competitors as we enter the last event, the Meg Roll. Meg, I'm needed upstairs, so I'll let you finish up. Just put some blush here and here. It makes the eyes look a little less dead and hollow. Wow, that really Wardrobe works. Assistant. Mm. Maybe I'll try that on myself. Oh, uh, you have what we call a closed casket face. Wow! What is this place? It's really dark down here. Shh. What? Did you hear something? No, I just want you to stop talking. Wait, I think I found the lights. All right, Chris. Meg loves to listen to music when she sleeps. Let's see how she likes this. Uh, Dad, I don't think that's how it works. Come on! This had nothing to do with the harmonica. I swear to God, bro. You gotta fight him. You gotta fight him. Ugh, Dad, it smells like rotting flesh in here. Take the window lock off. Can't do that, Meg. I don't trust myself not to jump out the window. But Minnie had a heart. Ah, now this is music. Howdy, 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 howdy. 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 
Oh my god, Maggie, you okay? Yep. Do you need mouth to nose resuscitation? Please don't. Oh! Oh! Wait, did you just call me Megan? That's your name, isn't it? Well, actually, Meg is short for something else. Peta, would you give this to the nurse? Uh huh. <laughs> Robots in disguise. You guys, I've tried everything, but it's hopeless. He's going to kill me. I can already picture my funeral. Thanks, didn't want to pay for the hole. Mr. Quagmire, how am I supposed to beat a guy like Mike Pulaski? He's massive. He may be stronger than you, but you're grosser, and you're going to use that. Your weird body can be a dangerous weapon if used properly. Okay. All right, you little bitch. It's time to end this thing. Oh! Yeah, oh! it is. I've had this exact same thing happen to me in real life. I was at this hotel party with this chick, uh, Jamila. It was her birthday. And my homeboy, who was half French, he got super drunk and went, got lost in the hallways. I had to go look for him. And when I found him, he had these two obese white females with him. And I go up to grab him. I'm like, hey, come on, we got to go. We got to, you know what I mean? I go to get him away from the females. And one of the females was like, oh, I know what'll change your mind. I know what'll make you want to hang out with us. And she lifts her shirt up. And I, I made the mistake of making a realistic sound effect. I was like, oh. And then their friend tried to do it too, as if like four unattractive chests were better than two. It didn't make it better. You know, uh... My homeboy got had the nerve to get mad at me. Like, bro, we had girls on us. What are you doing? I'm like, bro, those ain't women, man. These moose built bitches like he's is. <laughs> yep, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. I'm sure he'll be over it in no time. Besides, how much trouble can he cause? He's a baby. <laughs> ah! All right, Meg, stay incredibly still. I'm gonna whip that cigarette funny. out of your mouth. And maybe not, not slice funny. your face in half. Please. Dad, I don't wanna do this. Stay no. still. No! Okay, that's pretty cool too. Meg going to college. You know, I always thought she was gonna be one of those ladies who wears a jean jacket and hangs out at the bar in a chain restaurant. Hey, you know you can get a slice of pineapple in your burger here. Hey, Jimmy, another water. Call Miller Lite water. Jimmy knows me, he knows that. Come on, hockey team! This one's on me. Merry Christmas, Meg. You really oh! think Meg is college material, Principal Shepard? Yeah, she's a solid B student, and that's quite an accomplishment, considering none of her teachers are willing to sleep with her. Sophomore year, she was molested by the janitor. Does that help? <laughs> Mr. Griffin, I believe they're called custodians. Well, I called and confirmed my interview for tomorrow morning. I ordered you nothing. What else is new? Meg. Meg. Come on. Come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> Isn't this great, fun. Meg? <sighs> Sorry, I forgot to get you an ostrich. What's all that noise? Oh, do you want a hug from your big sister? Ow! Yep. Pull over to that gas station. We can use the Otter. bathroom and stretch our legs. Otter, you got it, babe. The hell out of my child, did you call man. me, Damn, babe? Man. I did. Uh huh. Well, Peter. Ew, mom. You'll never have this, Meg. Oh! Meg, you need to know that you matter. Really? No one's ever told me I mattered before. That's why you have to say it. So say it. I matter. Louder! I matter! Shut up, Meg. You don't matter. Things Meg might be good at. I don't know. I feel like I'm good at nothing. <laughs> Was that good? It was okay, but it would be a shame to waste such great butcher's arms on a musical instrument. Oh. oh come on, guy. Give me a break, huh? I've had a rough day. You've had a rough day? You guys wouldn't believe the day I've had. 
First of all, I didn't have any clean underwear this morning, so no. I had to wear a bathing suit. Then I missed the bus, of course. Then it looked like it was going to start to rain. Luckily, it didn't. And like that wasn't enough. Then we had a pop quiz in history. Oh, European history. American history. Was ah. Then, all right, see you later. Where are you off to? Actually, I met a photographer at Stewie's school yesterday, and he wants me to model for him. Lois, please send these back to the factory. I believe they're defective. Oh, my God, Peter, did you just rip your own ears off? It was the easiest way to let her know the news was ridiculous. Actually, Evan thinks I'm a natural and that I'm going to be a huge success. He thinks I could be a famous model. You famous? Now, come on, Meg, your only chance at fame would have been as the dog on Frasier. Oh, well, of course I respect my father. He's a vet. Woof. Not that kind of vet. <laughs> Mom, I need a check for the school field trip. Jeez, Meg, didn't I just take you on a field trip? Okay, here's the field. Goodbye forever. <laughs> ah! So, you want to go upstairs? Sure. Great. Go. Oh! Go around the block again. She's still out front. We've gone around six times. Let's just talk to her. Yeah, you're right. Rip it off quick, like a Band-Aid. Hey, Meg, you know Mr. Quagmire, right? Bye! Hey, what's going on here? But look, if you want to make real money, I could try to get you a job at the airport. They always need new TSA screeners. Really? Wow, that'd be great! Thanks, Mr. Quagmire. And thanks for taking the time. Most people aren't usually that nice to me. Ugh, gross. I'm asking you, please, and you don't have to tell me. I want to know because I'm interested what you did this week. It enhances my life to know how yours is going. You promise? Okay, well, now you owe me an apology. I'm sorry. I'm not used to you wanting to know. I, of course, I'd love to tell you what happened. Then by all means. I, it's just upsetting when you thumb your nose at the family. But I love you, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Please, I'd like to hear. Oh, okay. Well, this is actually kind of funny. I joined the TSA. In the show, Banana and a Family Guy. Nana start the credits. Lots of little names. Nah, 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 gay. Oh, thank God, Joe. I thought I was dead. I even pictured my own funeral. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. What's up, Ruth? Walking home from our house Christmas Eve. You can I don't know, Chris. No I don't know why he wanted this, but... We're honoring your father's wishes. Is it possible for everyone to get that? How much does that cost to have? That looks festive. Oh, I'm gonna miss my daddy. I, mean, I haven't been this desperate to find something since Meg was kidnapped by that maniac. It puts the lotion on its skin. Oh, Meg, thank God I found you. Hey, remember how you borrowed my club card for the grocery store? Could you toss that up to me? Oh, you don't have to have the card. You can just give them your phone number. Oh, really? Hey, thanks, man. Hey, Meg, I like your new boyfriend. Every pot finds a lid, huh? <laughs> have fun, you kids. Good morning, children. It's that time of the year again to fulfill your community service requirement by signing up for volunteer work. Do we get to choose our own jobs? No, 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 no. The jobs will be assigned randomly, but the cooler and prettier students have the better jobs. For instance, blonde chick in the third row will wash my car this afternoon, while little Miss Frumpkin, with all the questions, will work in an old folks' home. Is Frumpkin good? No, no. Mrs. Parkhurst? I'm Meg, your new student volunteer. Oh, you must be my new student volunteer. Yeah, I just said that. What's your name, dear? It's Meg. C can I get a new person? Nonsense, come in. And between you and me, I hate my new student volunteer. That ugly little Meg. She says she's a girl, but she certainly has a boy's body odor. Oh! <sighs> Boy, it wasn't easy, Mrs. Parkhurst. But I think we got the nail that was poking through your slipper. No. Well, you strike me as someone who's never going to get married, that's for sure. Now get me my itch cream. Is it in the drawer? Shut up! I'm trying to hum atonally. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Ooh, a text! I'm taking care of our problem. We'll be together soon. Love, Gretchen. Huh. Meg, you're kind of a loner psychopath. What does this mean? 
Oh, this woman is clearly a spurned lover who's planning to kill mom. Ah, thank you. Yeah. You're a good dog, Meg. Yeah. Meg, do you know how to use Microsoft Excel? Yeah, I'm actually pretty good. Yeah, you would, dork. But I do need to make that spreadsheet or I'm fired. Hello? Hey, Quagmire, what's going on? Oh, you need a ride? Yeah, sure, I can come get you. I'm not doing anything. Meg, that was the last guy, so just lock up when you're done. Ugh, didn't you hear the alarm? Peter, wake up! We're gonna be late for church. Are you even listening to me? You've got to stop coming home so late if you can't get up in the morning and I <laughs> Shit! Yep, there it is. Oh! 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 Wow! Oh, God, I can't hear Garfield. Okay, now you heard Mom say I'm in charge, so I just want to lay a few ground rules. Yep. I promise we're going to have fun, but there will be a uh -huh. schedule just to keep everything running sure, smoothly. Gotta have boundaries. And I may assign That's a great, chore or two because it's actually more Sounds fun like when you got everyone it all worked pitches out. in. Hey, by the way, ah! I'm going to flush your retainer down the toilet. Hi, Meg. What a disrespectful turd. Hi, Meg. Unbelievable. I mean, I do want to get ahead. I don't want to end up like Meg doing sad one-woman shows. Oh, I love trash. Anything dirty or dingy or dusty. Anything ragged or rotten or rusty. Yes, I love trash. Whose fault is this? You're wearing a garbage bag as a cape. Who do you think? Him? Shh, she's crushing it. It's my mom's birthday. You have to be there. Lois, if you let me out of this, I will go to Meg's ballet recital in your place. Deal. I did not go to the recital. All right, trying to be the internet is impossible. I wish I never peed on that server. You know, when my phone gets wet, I just put it in a bag of rice. Shut up, Meg. That's dumb. I've done that before. It works. <gasps> Chris, that's brilliant. We just need a ah! big bag and a lot of rice. You ah! think that's gonna work? Ah! Well, there you have it. Go ahead and do my last push-ups that I don't feel like doing, but it's a challenge. Person who sent this to me, you're dark. Morbidly, hilariously dark. And it's for that reason that I will not be throwing you out of the Discord. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's Will Blasphemous HD. Twisms.